Hello. It is I. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Syphy. Thank you so much for the resub. 22 month streak. Holy guacamole. You're amazing. Uh, hello to Damon. Damonson. What have you been up to? Sorry, I'm trying to apparently be threatening after Lemon stream today. Uh, hello, Chloe. It is lovely to see you. How have you been? I am recovering from COVID a second time. At least it's almost been two years since the first time I had COVID, but like... <sighs> Oh boy, <laughs> it is not fun any amount of time. Chris, hello, how are you? 23 is my favorite number of months. It's a good number. Also, TJ, hello, how are you doing? Damon, the crimes you've committed. COVID is so not slay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think I said hello to everyone if I missed you. Snow Queen. Mew Mew style, Mew Mew Grace, Mew Mew Power in your face. Mary Lotaniel came time. Yeah, <laughs> wait, what's game time? Also, hello, Snuggly. How are you doing today? How was your snow day? Um, hot take, but COVID can kick rocks. I agree. I got COVID for the first time at the end of September 2022. I held out for so long. Good job. Yeah, I was quite unlucky. I got it in February of 2021. Musk is eating candy canes. Wait, that's so cute. Wait, that's so cute. He's chomping. Um, and then, <clears throat> yeah, I, oh my God, it was so funny. So the first time I had COVID, well, not really, well, kind of funny to me. The first time I had COVID, it basically was like the person I was living with got quite sick, but we didn't think it was COVID because they didn't have what at the time we thought were COVID symptoms of like trouble breathing and coughing. Um, and I was just like so tired and I was like, man, my seasonal depression is so bad like I really thought that I was just having the worst seasonal depression and I was like I don't understand why I'm so tired I feel so miserable and then it turned out I had COVID and I was like oh that makes I just had like super bad fatigue so last Monday you know this is almost two years later I just was having a hard day on Monday like I canceled my therapy appointment I was so down I canceled therapy I was like I don't want to talk about my feelings I don't want to do anything like I'm so tired I'm so sad like again I was like man I just have like the worst seasonal depression right now and then it got to Wednesday and I lost my sense of taste and I was like oh my god I have COVID again <laughs> Which is like totally like my symptoms totally aligned with the first time I had it But it was so weird that like again. I was just like man seasonal depression is just like Beating me up right now, and it's like no, it's actually COVID It's actually COVID. I feel a lot better now. I did like sleep Just so much of last week basically like Thursday and Friday I slept and it's been really frustrating actually. I keep like finding that when I wake up in the morning, I feel really good and I feel like, oh my God, like, I, I, you know, I have to wait 24 hours when symptoms are done to be able to go into work again. Of course, I would like be fully masked and distancing, um, just like extra precautions. So I keep waking up and being like, I feel so much better. I can be able to go into work again soon. And then it, by the evening, I just feel so gross again. And I'm like coughing and oh my God, all the other symptoms. So that's my COVID complaint. How are all of you? I hope that you have, you had a wonderful weekend. I basically slept all weekend, um, which was not my plan. I'm very behind on Christmas presents and shopping. Well, good. I'm also ignoring the email I got from the IT guy after I went back to bed offering to help me troubleshoot. Aw. Well, I'm glad you got to enjoy a snow day. Honestly, it's nice to just have a day off. Took me a full week off work to recover. Yeah, I feel like it is going to Like, I tried to get work done today, but I, like, fell asleep. Full ass fell asleep. And then Saifi was like, hey, can someone, like, come, you know, like, hang out in the street? She didn't say that. Oh, my God. That sounds, like, so bad. She was like, can a mod come help out? And I, like, <laughs> had just woken up like, oh, my God, Saifi's streaming. <laughs> also, I'm really sorry if today I'm very head empty. I'm definitely having some, like, COVID brain experiences today. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely had some, like, 
head empty hours. But I really wanted to stream. I missed streaming. I was sad that I missed it last week. Um, but I like, again, I like slept all of <laughs> Thursday last week. And then I was thinking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to stream more this week? But actually the th way things worked out, I think I'm gonna be able to stream Thursday and Friday the next couple of weeks. So I think I should be good. You know what cures COVID dance? Sadly, <laughs> sadly, I think me dancing right now would not work. <laughs> like, <laughs> it gets winded so easily. I'm gonna have to work up to that, you know? Go for some walks. <gasps> Mew Mew oh. style, Mew Mew Grace, Mew Mew Power in your face. Let's go. Hello, thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing? 13 months? That's such a long time, a whole year of y'all. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. Yeah, how is everybody else doing? How was your weekends? I hope you all did like fun, kind of like seasonal stuff. There's a lot more like, kind of like Christmassy holiday stuff I would have liked to do, but I'm, sh I'm schnoozing, you know? Probably had COVID all my life. My head is always empty, Manny, no. <laughs> also, hello, Zoomer. Enjoying with some leftover peats. Oh my goodness, everybody. I have another complaint to make. I have another complaint. So I have a health issue that I don't usually talk about because it's never like super relevant. Um, but I have, it feels weird to phrase it this way, essentially like chronic heartburn. Like I get heartburn almost every day of my life and it's been that way since I was a kid. And I think I might've talked about this on stream before actually, but it's one of those things that I like didn't realize was a problem until like fairly recently because it's gotten quite bad um and so i'm i'm researching yeah essentially i think it's GERD but i don't want to say it's GERD because GERD is kind of like actually it's own <laughs> you make my heart burn snuggly yeah i'm a GERD girly um so i'm actually i'm gonna go to a doctor about it finally but i've been looking into a GERD diet which is essentially like foods to either like eat or avoid to not trigger heartburn or to not um, make your stomach acid as acidic. GERD is quite a general term, right? Well, it's gastrointestinal uh, something disease. It's like an actual like disease, I th I think. I think it's like a, like a diagnosis. I had <coughs> been using it in a more generalized way until I had done some more research. Um, yeah, gastrointestinal reflux disease, yeah. Um, so, Oh my god, but the foods you, you're not supposed to eat, uh, it's so hard. It's like no garlic, no onions, no caffeine. I've started to try and like lower my caffeine consumption. I'm drinking like five coffees a day. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, it's like none of that. Um, avoiding dairy, avoiding... Uh, acidic foods, so like citrus, avoiding spice. It's just like avoiding a lot of very flavorful foods. So, <laughs> so you know, that's rough. Hi, Lemon, how are you? Oh, Lemon understands, I feel like, the, the, the weird diet life, because I know Lemon has to avoid specific foods for her stomach. Um, oh God, did my thing freeze for a second? Oh no, I look okay now. What did Zoomer? I spent my weekend getting ready for birthday. Oh my God, and ordering Christmas presents. Oh, that's so fun. When is your birthday? Um, so yeah, that's my like, basically avoiding all the fun stuff. Yeah, and dairy means no, no, no boba. It really, it's like essentially eating the food I was eating when I was vegan, minus the stuff that made it like flavorful, like onion and garlic and spice. So ginger is okay though, I think. Lemon's okay, like right now I have <laughs> lemon in my tea. I've been on a big lemon water kick. Um, Broth-based soups, <laughs> food map. That is pretty restrictive. I have to stop eating grapefruits because of a medication I'm on. Oh, Chris, that's so rough. It is so weird how much grapefruit affects medication. That's such a big thing. I've been quite lucky that mine doesn't interact with it, but um, yeah. Small freeze. Okay, yeah, that was super weird. I hope I hope everything goes smoothly from here. I would like to stream today. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think ginger is pretty good. Pretty good for you overall. You know, garlic, watch out for vampires. I love garlic. 
kefir and sauerkraut. I think I should start eating more sauerkraut because I know it's actually quite good for me to eat acidic, some acidic foods because, oh my God, it's one of those confusing things to me where it's like acid plus acid like lowers, <laughs> lowers the acidity of your stomach acid. So like, like some people recommend drinking apple cider vinegar, which like weirdly enough I used to do anyway. So I think I actually quite honestly was like, especially when I was vegan and like on my like hyper fitness kick, I was quite good for my <laughs> GERD. And I think now that I'm not doing that anymore, I'm like realizing how bad it was. I said to my buddy that her Christmas layouts and she said cool and that she's not feeling well and I asked her to feel better and give you all the hugs. She asked me, if I was, oh, Chris, I'm, I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. I put some vegan cheese in my scrambled eggs this morning and the resulting texture was not good. Ugh, I hate vegan cheese. I gotta be honest. The it honestly is a texture thing for me as well. Unfortunate that I hate ginger drip. Oh, Chloe, I feel so bad as well that you get like, like uh, nausea and travel nausea because I feel like ginger's one of the best things for that. They cancel out each other. Exactly. Probiotics. Yes, we love them. So whenever you eat alkaline or acidic foods, it won't impact the acidity of your stomach in any meaningful way. The pH of the stomach acid is 2, which is extremely acidic. That's so scary to think about. I don't like... See, oh, biology gives me the heebie-jeebies. My heartburn problems are weird. Sometimes I can go long periods of time eating the worst stuff, and sometimes it... Feels bad to eat some of tomatoes. Tomatoes is the other thing that I'm supposed to avoid. No tomatoes, which actually I'm kind of fine with because tomatoes are one of the things that I have like ingrained as a trigger for me. So like marinara sauce is just like a no go for the most part. I'm well, you. I'm doing. I'm doing okay. I'm recovering from COVID, um, <laughs> but we're doing good. So yeah, so I'm gonna go to a doctor. Um, in January about that, which I am a little nervous for because I have bad vibes with doctors sometimes. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I mean, most of my experiences have been quite positive. It's just a little intimidating. Some of you might get this, some of you may not. That's totally okay, but it is a little intimidating to go into a situation where food is involved and weight could be involved. Um, so that's a little scary because if I go in and the doctor's like, you just need to lose weight, that's not going to be a very helpful experience for me, right? So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to try and talk too much about that because I know that that's like not a fun conversation, but you know, um, so yeah, so I'm just optimistic that it'll be like a positive experience. And hopefully they can help me figure out. Because, like, this has been, like, an entire life thing for me, basically. Me knowing nothing about food diet combo effects and just vibing and learning through the combo. Yeah, it's honestly quite amazing how much your food um, affects your life. And, like, how some, like, oh, my God, like, probiotics are so good for you. Oh, my God, there's a whole, like, gut-brain connection that, like, your gut health is so, like, connected. Um with your brain health oh my god there's stuff like that that's just like wild it's wild i've had that exact experience lemon i'm so sorry that's like honestly such like a fear of mine to have that like be the response Ugh, so my partner said i'd rather not be weighed and the nurse was like that's fine yeah i think like with i don't know it's hard like to know how to go into that situation and like in some ways be respectful of what information will be helpful for them but at the same time, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, having it be like an em emotionally safe place for me, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. My partner's, oh yeah, I read that, I read, catch my ass. <laughs> no, Damon! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna show up with COVID. Hopefully I'll be fine with COVID by that time. If your ass is shutting up, you probably need to drink more kombucha. <laughs> you gotta get those probiotics. Related though, your aesthetic is so good and cute today. Thank you, honestly, I've been like, my last couple of streams, I've worn very cute outfits. So now the like pressure is on. And <laughs> not really, of course, but I felt quite 
dedicated to looking nice on stream because I realized how much it like <laughs> improves my mood later when I go back and watch stuff from the streams just of being like, yeah, I looked really cute. And like, you know, it's a simple, simple mood boost. Oh yeah, but thank you, oh, thank you, Snuggly. Well, you know, it's like those things where I like, I don't want to be on here being a total like sweatshirt gremlin. Though I will say, I was gonna wear a sweatshirt today because I got a new Taylor, or I have a new Taylor Swift sweatshirt arriving that I pre-ordered like months ago, but <coughs> but it's not here yet. A oh, wild little factoid is that we carry more bacteria cells in our bodies than we have human cells. Manny, that's wild. Yeah, bacteria. They're kind of spooky. I do want to say though, I want to highlight. I got some new clothes um and i got new flared leggings the year apparently is like 2012. i'm out here wearing my flared yoga pants what am i stepping on i don't know look at these flares <laughs> and they're so comfy <laughs> and they're really nice they have like the the v shape um waistbands which are really comfortable so yeah i uh i feel very comfy ready to do some yoga i did some stretching last night oh i want to do shout out for snuggly i don't know if snuggly got a shout out but everybody follows snuggly i was watching snuggly stream last night and i was finally stretching for the like god do you ever like realize it's been like months since you've stretched and then you go to do it and you're like, oh God, it's been a little, but it felt so nice. So I got some good stretches, like very slow <laughs> stretches. And cause again, like, I feel like if I move too fast, I'm gonna just ah, cough, cough, cough. Dope leggings, thank you. Fat, we're, we're all about the fashion here. Aliens looking at us like we're mostly bacteria with some kind of small creature acting as a bacteria church. Oh my God. Okay, this is gonna lead me on a tangent, but I need you all to bear with me. I need y'all to bear with me. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, um, <laughs> shout out to Gabe. I'm so happy we can have Gabe. Do any of you know what Angelic Lair is? Yeah, that's that's totally fine, Lemon. Very justifiable decision to make. Um, because, okay, so what Damon was saying, we're basically like bacteria meccas, right? Like, <laughs> like... You know, mecha anime? So I am doing research for a video about Angelic Lair. Angelic Lair is this show, this anime series that's about, oh my God, this is such a long tangent. Maybe I should save it for the video, but I wanna talk about it now. It's about people that have these little dolls that they control with their mind. And I'm like kind of arguing, or I kind of believe that, that, that it's essentially like, cause clamp the, oh my God. Sorry, there's so many layers to this. It's essentially a mecha anime because it has like the robot controlling with your mind aspect. That's my argument. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Angelic Lair was published as a shonen anime and or a shonen manga. So it was published in manga series or in a, a magazine that had like mostly like quote unquote boys manga and it was possibly being published at the exact same time in the exact same magazines as neon genesis evangelion which if you know was kind of revolutionizing the mecha genre by being a very like character relationship driven series that also had a uh, estranged parent. Well, what is Angelic Claire? It's also a like flipped on its head mecha series that's focused on character relationships with an estranged parent, but they're literally like they couldn't be more opposite of each other. Like in terms of vibe, one of them is like psychological like drama and one of them is like, this is my comfort show. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like that was not the best way of explaining it, but it's just blowing my mind that they were possibly published in the same issues at the same time. Like, so uh, that is my... <laughs> current like research work. oh because if you haven't already seen i had a new youtube video come out um 
this week, which I'm very proud of. It is a very deep dive into a specific Barbie doll. Um, so if you like me talking somewhat more organized, you know, about a specific subject, please check that one out. And I will have another video about Angelic Lair sometime where I'm, I don't have COVID, so it hopefully makes more sense than whatever I just said. <laughs> In many ways, the mech is the human skeleton in musculation, and the pilot is the brain slash brainstem. Very true. Very true. Yeah, it's by Clamp. Exactly. Clamp was doing doing things. They were doing things. <laughs> Snugly, thank you. Thank you. Please, honestly, please do. I'm like, I'm so proud of it. It is just one of the, I like, I spent so long, like literal months working on this because I'm very slow. Um, yeah, on a little mind salt, same, same. It's like those memes of a quiet person standing next to a goth. Yes, yes. Oh my God, there's a TikToker I found recently um, who like, she has like this super cute retro aesthetic and she collects antique dolls and her girlfriend is a goth and they look so cute together. I'm like, yes, I love the like opposite looks coming together very cute <laughs> yes snuggly doing it thank you damonson <laughs> okay i'm gonna drink a little of my tea if it, i hope it's not too hot my scaredy cat mug isn't this so cute i love it except it's throat coat tea which gives me the emotional ick i have like such a negative association with <laughs> throat coat tea it just sounds <laughs> gross <laughs> Oh yeah, no worries, Lemon. Thank you. I could have typed that. Mary's just reading DMs out loud again. I did have a moment of like, am I sharing this on screen again? I'm not. All you can see is me. Mary's biggest fear is leaking her friend's DMs again. Oh my god, there's been so much Twitter drama lately. I guess maybe I shouldn't get into it, but part of me wants to. Part of me shouldn't, though. Um... <laughs> I, oh my god, I literally hallucinated Twitter drama, though. I, um, we have you on the TV! <gasps> Hello, everyone. Is TJ there again? Show them my address again. No, Lemon. No! The most embarrassing moment of my life. I, I still look back to that stream. Like, that was such a fun stream, but I, I like, also was like, man, I was on something that night. Like, I was dumb. <laughs> Where's your cat? He's in the closet currently. He's sleeping in the closet. He's being a little closeted boy. Drama time. Okay. Well, the first part of the drama time is I literally... Oh, TJ and Lee. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, had a dream about Twitter drama with people that like, I'm like, I'm, it's kind of like friends of friends. They're like in, I think they're people in the, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to hold, be quiet. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm so bad at secrets. Um, <laughs> people, it was people in the Just Dance community. Like I had a dream where someone was like, I know what so-and-so did. Like you can't hide the truth. Like, I can't believe that they're acting like everything is fine. Like, I swear to God, I remember reading these tweets while laying in bed after, like, consuming <laughs> like, oh, a fair amount of cough syrup, probably. Um, but I don't remember exactly what it was, but they were like, wow, like, this streamer, like, I can't believe what they, what they did, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, I fell asleep. And the next morning, I was like, what was that even about? So I was, like, searching for that person's username on Twitter, and nothing came up. And I realized it was all a dream. It wasn't real. I was like, what did so-and-so do? Nothing. Nothing. Um, and then the real drama is just with, like, people. Okay, I personally felt, uh, you know, strong emotions about the actual drama situation. And I don't want to, like, name names, but it was basically someone that was, like, coming into people's streams, being very positive towards them in their own chat, and then, like, saying rude things about them behind their back, which I hate because I've experienced that. Like, I've had, I had a person that was, like, coming in and gifting me subs and then saying really rude things about me behind my back. So, like, that really peeves me off. 
when people do stuff like that. Because, like, if you don't like someone, someone, don't be in their stream, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, Lemon. It was a, it was a stink, stinky, stinky situation. Weird. People are weird. People react very strangely. Um, so that was, like, the real drama situation. Whereas I come into a stream and say mean things, but then say nice things about you behind your back. <laughs> yeah, Chloe's only nice to me in person. Yeah, here's my money. Also, I don't like you. Exactly. It was like, what the fuck? Got the most lag. Oh no, Sifey, I'm sorry. I only use Twitter to send messages to slugs. <laughs> Assume my responses are 15 seconds. Okay, I will, I will uh, assume that. Also, it seems like there's, um, there's been better better lag on mobile. Like it's better than it used to be. <laughs> there's this one stream where I watch, but she's obsessed with trains. Yeah, chuggly, very weird. <laughs> also high proofs. Um, <laughs> Mary stink. <laughs> yeah, everybody follow the proofs. They're a delight. Oh my god, there was also somebody that was streaming. Wait, two people were streaming. Nancy Drew that I recently missed and I was really sad because I was like man if I'm sick I just want to like lay and watch streams like I've been watching so much lemon because I've just been sick and I'm like yes this is what I want to watch there's an office quote that's like I wouldn't say this to her face but I think she's extremely capable and awesome <laughs> you say that to her face yeah no like <laughs> compliment people <laughs> yeah so i don't get that mindset of like being like that because then if people find out it's all hard feelings like there's no real benefit so i don't know i don't hang out in the streams of people i don't like For, to be frank i don't get to hang out in the streams of people i do like enough you have a little treat from banning Why does that give me like a shock of anxiety? <laughs> what does it mean? I need to take the tea bag out of this. New favorite chatter. Is it Bannock? <laughs> also, hi, Duck. <laughs> oh no. Lemon's sending. Someone's sending me messages on Discord. I'm assuming it's Lemon. They're in your Discord right meow? No. Oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I should get some tea. <laughs> well, now it's not my. Oh, wait, I'm a mod in your channel. Does that mean it is my job? Refuses to moderate her own channel, but has to mod other people's. Honestly, I'm quite bad. There are people that like I would never put up with in Lemon's chat where I'm like, I want to be on this person right away, but in my own, I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Weird. Weirdage. <laughs> also, hi, Duck. How are you doing? <laughs> the mod crossover. <laughs> Come get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Mod duty, you know, <laughs> calls. I do love being a mod. It's, you know, I would say like most of the people I watch, I also mod for. Um, Yeah, that's a weird situation. I'm busy. <laughs> I have to speak to all of you. Man, I do feel like I look very, like, cozy today. Oh, it's been so nice. Um, uh, getting to wear sweaters and stuff again, because, it like, it snowed. Oh, my God, it snowed here. So it was really cold this morning in, a, like, such a nice way. I was so cozy in bed. Tea does look nice. It, oh, my God, yeah, I got, like, lemon floating in it consuming lemon um floating in it as well but it's throat coat which i think tastes gross but it's good for my throat so i drink it the snow is up to my knees holy shit that's so much snow <laughs> you stream me mod <laughs> mary when modding other channels it's time to mod you out of your life what headset i'm using i'm you oh god what is this called I'm literally editing a review of it right now. Like Joy Gco, like J E E E C O L. What's in the tea that coats the front? I don't know. If you look up throat coat tea, you'll probably find it. It has this quote on it: "There is pleasure in the pathless woods." Lord Byron. <laughs> An 
army of Miru emotes. Wait, what's Miru emotes? Um, throat coat tea. I have, okay, this, this will be the other tea statement. A little lead to coat my throat, exactly. <laughs> um, I had an old roommate. This was like years ago. This was my first year out of university. I lived with a opera singer, a male opera singer. Oh, our emote artist. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. That makes so much sense. Yes, my emotes, some of Chloe's emotes and Syphie's emotes are all by Miru, who's an amazing artist. Um, I lived with an opera singer uh, who was just a ding dong of a man. <laughs> Like, absolute, like, one of those things we got along, like, super well when I first lived here, and then the longer things went on, the more I was like, this guy sucks. But he drank a lot of throat coat. The singers really love this stuff. Um, yeah, oh my god, he was just, like, he, we got into a fight about him not putting down the toilet seat. Like, can you imagine, can you imagine, like, arguing that you shouldn't have to put down a toilet seat when you're the only man in the house, so you're the only one putting it up. Like, I fell into the toilet one night because the toilet seat was up, which was like, you know, it was, it was kind of funny, but also like my bad, I guess I should have looked. But also, if you're the only one putting the toilet seat up, put the toilet seat down, you know? And we got in a fight about it. And he like held fast to that. And that was the point where I was like, I fucking hate this man. Like, Put your toilet seat down. You're the only one that puts it up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Hungry. Thank you. Why is it such a Twitch thing just to repeat what the stream is? I know, I do it all the time. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> yeah, I, and he also cheated on his girlfriend and then they're still together. I feel so bad. This like, it makes me so mad. Him and his girlfriend broke up. I was friends with his girlfriend then because I was like, yes, shitty men out of your life. Yes. And we like hung out a few times and then they got back together. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to be friends with either of you. Why? Why? And like me and the other roommate knew he was doing stuff, but we didn't like, we like knew it was cheating, but it turns out like he had never told her about it. So we we're like, oh my God, do we need Like, oh my God, it was the worst situation. Um, so yeah, women forever marry, never be with a man. Exactly. <laughs> my solution is to always sit to pee regardless of your configuration. I mean, if you're comfortable with it, yeah. Like, or at least just put the seat back down. <laughs> um, hate it when cheaters stay together. Yeah, like, no, it just. Me, me, Thank you for Hungry gifting gifted a, sub a tier to one sub to Duck. Duck they have given Duck. 35 <laughs> gift subs in the channel. It feels like it's tattling on you. They've gifted 35 gift subs in the chat. Also, hello, Begamma. But Hungry again, thank you so much for gifting us up to Duck. And Duck, enjoy your ad free viewing in emotes. Got a wild duck. I saw a bath mat on Amazon today that was like a duck laying on its side and like every time I see duck imagery I have the strongest urge to like put it in Lemon's Discord like <laughs> a duck and it's like you all do not need to see every single duck I see. I guess same with lemons. Every time I see a lemon I'm like lemon. <laughs> uh. But yeah, um, if someone cheated on you don't stay with them please. Please don't stay with them. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, who else needs a shout out? Yeah, hello, Magamma, and hello, Rogue. Everybody, please follow them. They're very delightful individuals. Rogue was playing the spooky train game. How is that? This time of year, there's a fair few Marys about. Yeah, they, they have me all over the place with my son, Jeebus. <laughs> Yeah, take photos of every Mary that you see and send them to me. <laughs> Don't at me. Oh my god. Syphy. <laughs> Syphy are chaos. That's one of those things where I'm like, I don't know if I should talk about it on stream. Maybe, why not? Syphy and I both dated the same cheating man. That's how we met. Isn't that chaotic? 
Like, what a friendship to build over is both dating the same idiot, the same ding dong, most unhinged game off the bat. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. That's how Syphy and I met. <laughs> and now we're great friends, and I don't know what's happening with the guy. So, yeah, it is really tea time. I got my tea, and I'm spilling the tea. Kind of awesome. I mean, it is like literally the best case scenario to come after. I, I got, I got a stellar friend out of that. So, I'm, I'm like doing pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> Vodkas have different acidity levels and curdled my fortified Baileys. Oh no, I did not know that. I've been in a similar situation. Oh no, rogue. I hope it all worked out well. Man, cheaters fucking suck though. Someone should make a movie about the two of you. It will be called Streamers. <laughs> the girl tried to get us to fight each other. No. See, I hate that. That's definitely something that I experienced with that person is they were very good at making other people like feel pitted against each other. Um, like there was a, even like another person who was like kind of involved and I was kind of friends with, but then they were like upset with another person involved. So it was, oh God, it was like a very messy situation, but streamers, <laughs> it's not about the men, but the friends you make along the way. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. So that is literally the best case scenario out of that. Also, I realized I'm not in just chatting and I really should be. It's fine. Whatever. We're playing Pokemon right now. <laughs> Reality show streamers and cheaters. <laughs> There's probably tons of content out of that. I'm sure there are some very interesting streamers out there with very interesting life experience. Honestly though, shout out to the streamers with just like very normal love lives as well that haven't dealt with chaos. <laughs> Lemon is like the best flavor right now, in my opinion. Um, yeah, cause like what a, uh, God, <laughs> therapy, great. Therapy's a great time, but it definitely like the longer I've been in therapy, the more I've been like, I do kind of, I did kind of have a, have a habit of dating like really toxic people. <laughs> I kind of sometimes did do this to myself. <laughs> like I stayed when I shouldn't have. <laughs> but it's all a learning experience. I just dropped the whole group. It was stressing me out. Oh my God, not to brag. I think I'm the one that leveled up quite a bit. Oh, Rogue, I'm glad. I'm glad that from that, you felt that like, you were able to like grow and, you know, um, become become the closer to the person that you want to be, I guess. Lemon, yes. Yeah, my lemon <laughs> fan beverage. Man, I bet lemon would taste the drink, the fruit. <laughs> lemon the fruit would taste very good in G Fuel, but I don't think I can drink G Fuel anymore because it's too much caffeine. <laughs> Look at all these Pokemon. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon. I <laughs> have my Munchlax. There's a Vaporeon in the background. What else do you want? What else do you want? <laughs> the fruit. <laughs> too much caffeine. Yeah, hungry. I was talking about this earlier that I'm not supposed to have caffeine if I'm trying to follow the GERD diet. The GERD. The GERD. <laughs> the stop getting heartburn all the time diet. <laughs> Sun acquired, my boy. He's so handsome. I This sweater isn't as good for holding him in as the other one. Oh, I got a little bit. He can just have like his ears. <laughs> I got free half and half green tea lemonade. Oh, it was my first time, but it was really good. I love love the like lemonade mixed with tea it's so refreshing and when they had the like peach green tea version the girl diet <laughs> it's like the barbie diet you know also oh can i shout out in my latest video every single shirt i'm wearing is a barbie shirt and you can't wear <laughs> or you can't <laughs> see the Barbie logo in like any of them, which is so upsetting. I realized that after I filmed, it was like cut off. Um, but I just want to say every shirt I was wearing in that video was a Barbie branded shirt. I looked into that. It looked like a diet of sadness. It, it kind of do be. Um, so I'm not going to follow it like strictly to the extremes, but 
At least I know what can help me. Oh, Ryzen, oh, unsalted bro brother. <laughs> broth. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I have been on a chicken broth kick, though. Man, I've been drinking so much chicken broth, but mostly because I'm sick. Also, it tastes kind of good, though, so... Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> what a good video. Thank you, McGam. Honestly, thank you everyone who's left a comment on it because I was like, man, this is a real out of left field video. I don't know many people are gonna watch it, but I like worked really hard on this. Like that's my first video where I've like put outfit changes into it and like <laughs> been um, <laughs> tried really hard. So yeah, I've been very proud of it. So I hope you all enjoy it. And I'm gonna try and do more stuff like that next year. I didn't talk about this too much. I'm gonna talk about it now because I can't, hee <laughs> hee um, Last year, it was really my goal with YouTube to, oh fuck, my frames are dropping. Is it okay now? It went red. You might need to refresh, I don't know. That was, Okay, are we okay? Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. When I went to Japan, I thought canned soup was so weird, but once I had it, I was like, I get it now. I do like cans. My nerve blood. Okay. Whew. Whew. Just keep my eye out. Um, what was I wanting to talk about? What form does soup come in? Not canned soup? <laughs> Boxed soup, I guess. I don't know. I think I think Rogue is thinking the like the like uh, like soda can, right? Where you like go go go. That's how I drink chicken broth. Um, oh my god, have I lost track of what I was saying now? It's the COVID brain hitting. Brother, videos. Oh, with YouTube, with YouTube, I was like, I really only want to make content that I for sure feel good about. And... I'm, I'm having dropped frames. <laughs> Manny, have a good workout. Really? Sorry, I hate this. Why all of a sudden is it so bad? It's so strange to me. Can't... Seems like... Okay, well, I guess I can keep talking. This is now a podcast experience. Uh, but yeah, so I really wanted to make sure my YouTube content... Um, with stuff I was really proud of. And I feel like for the most part, I really did that year, this year. Um, and for next year, I very much want to like keep pushing forward with that and um, putting like more time and effort into <laughs> my videos. Damon, I say you're looking incredibly low buried today. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, what is a stream without technical difficulties? This is super weird, too, because it's not, like, as bad as it... Like, I feel like in the past, it's usually, like, it commits to just being the most stinky ever. We totally can't see you, so you can get naked. <laughs> We've dispelled the Eva. Bless. Bless. I love the mug so much. Thank you, Rogue. It was from an old roommate of mine. Speaking of old roommates, from one of my, like, really great old roommates that I had. She got this for my birthday for me. Um, God, this is being so weird. I don't know how, I don't know. Let's look at my uh, task manager really quick. Is somebody blobbing up things? Who's doing what? YouTube content has been very enjoyable. I watch them whenever I have time I'm working. Jahul, thank you. Thank you for watching them and enjoying them. Oh, well, let me close Spotify, just in case it's Spotify. Who's blobbing? <laughs> what else do I have open that I could close? That? Looks fine with my average eyes. Okay. Yeah, it keeps, like, dipping really weirdly. Let me make sure my internet's plugged in all the way. I need to- oh my god. Things that I need to handle is uh my <laughs> my ethernet cable is like very janky i have a better one i need to switch out it out with but it doesn't have the little peg that like holds it in place on it anymore so it like stays in but if something like tugs on it it'll pull out so 
I'm cold and went to get my dressing gown, which is like one step away from me, but I'm too lazy to get Snuggly, get it. Snuggly, I... We're on Wi-Fi streaming tonight. I don't even have Wi-Fi connectivity with my computer. So if it goes, it goes. It goes. It'll go like 30 seconds fine and five seconds are like a gift. Well, I guess we can run with this. Like, it's not the worst. It's not the worst situation. <laughs> I'm basically an FMV. Oh my God, I was watching this great, this great video, very in depth about the Titanic FMV game, Titanic Adventure Through Time, which Snuggly has a video on if you wanna watch someone play it but it was like an in-depth video about the creation of it and stuff like that and how they did because it's not really an fmv it's more that they've like animated using pictures of actors which was super interesting so <laughs> um i just thought like it was a really cool tactic and i was like oh my god you could totally do that with like a vtuber is like take a bunch of pictures and then like animate with them essentially to make like a <laughs> like a weird human v2 <laughs> which i kind of like love the idea of yes tannic uh oh it's really weird to me though how much the titanic scared me as a kid oh so terrified of of sunken ships watch out around <laughs> man yeah yeah you can pick up on the titanic hacks um God, I haven't streamed on Wi-Fi in so long. That sent me back. Thinking about the uh, the throat coat tea. Man, I've streamed in so many different apartments. And it's so weird to think about like how different my setup was in each of them and how different like the experience of streaming was in each of them. Um, and like I'm trying I'm right now in the midst of trying to decide if I'm gonna live here for another year or move. It's looking like I might live here. Man, Seattle's so expensive. What the fuck? Why is this city so expensive? Uh, <laughs> I got like really confident um, that I would like be able to easily afford to find a new place that was like bigger. And like, I don't know if I will. So I might stay here another year. But honestly, I'd like that because I like having the like consistency of <laughs> a space, especially when it comes to streaming. Because again, I've like, I've moved like, almost more than once a year <laughs> in my last couple of years so it'd be kind of nice to spend like two years in a location and have my stream background not be like constantly changing <laughs> such a good idea yeah i think it sounds very cool i got the video on my watch list yes you should you should consume it it was just like a good good nice little long uh, i think it was like 40 minutes long so i, I watched it while playing fortnite as one does also scared me, my Nana had two history books in the same series, one about the Titanic and one about Pompeii, and both freaked me out so much. Oh my gosh, Pompeii I can imagine as well. Oh my, yeah, especially like where I live here is right by um, Mount Rainier. So growing up, I was like very afraid of Mount Rainier erupting. And like, that was like one of those things we'd have to do like emergency drills on in school is like, okay, if there's an eruption, you know, hide under a desk. I don't even know what you did. It was basically just, <laughs> I mean, we're in elementary school. There's not a lot that we can do. So uh, <laughs> I think, I think I was in a pretty good school where it wouldn't have been like too much of a concern. Oh, in terms of like location, not in terms of like, I don't know, any other thing. Um, but yeah, like Mount St. Helens was a big thing. I don't know if anybody's seen like any footage or anything from that, but that was quite a bit, big, uh, dust clouds came from that and like coated everything in ash and dust and it like got up into Canada and like Eastern Washington and stuff. So mountains, they do a lot. They've been doing a lot, but thankfully I don't have hurricanes or tornadoes, which are like those big random fears of mine. Big wind is very scary. I don't like wind. Okay, maybe we should play Pokemon now. I think that would be good. Also, my Switch might have just turned off because I haven't touched it in a while. I grew up with my grandma and she didn't have children movies, but she had multiple movies about volcanoes. That's my low-key irrational fear. Very fair. Like, I watched a ton of the Weather Channel growing up because we didn't have... The, or the only television we had was, like, pu public broadcasting. Um... <laughs> so, am I in the Pokemon channel? I am good. Um, yeah, I watched a lot of the Weather Channel, and it was, like, scary at times. I'm super old. So, experience Mount St. Helens. It was so loud and rattled cupboards, even thousands of kilometers away. That's wild to think about. That's so scary. Grandma <laughs> got ran over by a reindeer. Fs and Chad for Grandma. 
May she rest. All right, let's Pokemon. Oh, it's still open. Oh, I need to adjust my chat on this screen. Someone remind me in the future. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot that I'm supposed to open <laughs> up the game <laughs> on the monitor. <laughs> uh, give me just a second. I'm being silly. <laughs> I guess I could just watch the game in my OBS, but that does make things slightly harder. <laughs> Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. I don't know the other words to that song. Uh, just chat on this screen, thank you. Yeah, because it's it's aligned to the wrong side. Isn't that just so annoying to look at? If your name is Mary and you're looking at your streams later because you want to take clips. Uh, very annoying. Are y'all the type to make your character sit down and sleep when <laughs> you can before seven? I do like doing stuff like that. That was one of my favorite things with them. Oh my God, look at them. <gasps> it's a tea party. We are viewing a tea party. That is so cute. Oh my God. You look funny. <laughs> is that, I, that must be a color combination I've already seen. Oh God, people are high level here. Something, something walking home, ex Miss Eve. <laughs> I don't think, oh my God. Oh my God, what a squad I have here. What was I doing last? I don't remember. I think I was grinding. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Bully the Pokemon. Mr. Fizz, tell me about your exes. <coughs> okay, I'm I'm here to I'm here to beat the game. Who are you? Oh wait, this is wait, no. I thought this was like the Gothelita one. Don't look behind me. Honestly, I love them. Yeah, the little mouse guy. His name is Snickers. He's a little Snickers bar because I was going through a Snickers ice cream bar phase. Um, <laughs> I want to share something with all of you. So, oh my God, can we get like really, really personal here for a second? Can I tell you all about like an issue of mine? How do we feel about that? I feel like I'm in a crowd I can trust. Um, oh, do I want to? <laughs> well, now I've brought it up. I can, I can. Uh, I struggle with binge eating and um, I'm working with a therapist about it. And one of the like techniques for, for helping with it is if you have like a food that you specifically binge is to buy like an ungodly amount of it. Just have like an insane amount of it in your house. And so I was having an issue with <laughs> Snickers ice cream bars. So I bought seven boxes of Snickers ice cream bars. My fridge <laughs> was <laughs> literally, or my freezer was half full of Snickers ice cream bars. And it helped in the weirdest way. It like helped in the weirdest way because your brain doesn't do the like, oh, this is like a limited time thing where like I can't, I can't like have, you know, this very often. Yeah, it works for binge eating. It like depends on like, cause there are so many causes for binge eating, but like one of the things from it, it can be linked to like a scarcity thing where you're like, oh, like this is a special treat and I don't get to have it very often. So because I do have it, I want to eat it all. And you know, there are tons of different layers um, with it. But yeah, so when, in, when it's no longer a thing that is like scarce, you're, um, Yeah, your brain like interprets it differently. And so it went from something that I was like, if I have it, I have to eat like an entire box at once to like, oh, I can just have this as like a treat after dinner if I want. And I didn't like want to eat an entire box of it. Yeah, it, it was wild how much that worked for me. Um, I generally appreciate the secondhand therapy. I went to, oh, from a different eating disorder to on and on binge eating. So I really appreciate it. Okay, honestly, like that's good to hear. It's something I, Fire is evolving. <laughs> so, so dramatic social matter. I try not to talk about it because eating disorders are specifically so triggering in like so many ways. Like it's, it's wild how easily things with that 
um, can be triggered. And so I try not to talk about it just because I'm like, I don't want to trigger other people. I don't want to trigger myself. I don't want to freak myself out. Um, yeah, so just like know you're not alone. Like I'm specifically seeing a therapist that works in eating disorders, which has been so incredibly helpful. Like if you've struggled with disordered eating and um, I like so highly recommend going to a specialist therapist for that because other therapists, I'm not gonna lie, have just like not understood it for me in the same way that my current therapist has in terms, cause like eating disorders don't make sense. Like they, they're, it's, you know, it's, it's based off of just like illogical things and I can be like super aware of that, but that doesn't resolve it, right? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. I appreciate hearing it too. I struggle with sugar intake, so it's nice to not feel alone, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all hard, ED too, so I can relate. I've not heard of the bimassive amount. Yeah, and like that, you know, totally will also depend on like so many different factors because everyone has so many different like emotional things going on with food. So what works for me might not work for other people, but I found that like weirdly worked very well for me. Whenever I have something that I've categorized as junk food, then I'll eat the whole thing to get it out of the house so I don't have to feel shame for a longer period of time. Oh, safey. That's so hard, yeah. I, Saifi, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm not trying to be like therapy, but like, I feel like it would be helpful for so many of us to be in therapy, but yeah. Um, yeah, I try definitely not to categorize foods as like junk food and not and stuff like that. Say if you have any triggers. No, cause it's harder cause it's so much more nuanced than that. And it tends, I found like a lot of the time my triggers aren't like a specific word or phrase, but it ends up being more like in the context of a conversation. And um, oh my God, it's little keys. And like so many of those things are just like not even things that I would personally want to talk about. So, um, so like, if it comes up, I'm probably, I'll, I'd probably just like ignore it in the chat or like if needed to, you know, shut things down. The idea of limited quantity, so eat it now resonates. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, this is a limited time thing. Brain says, consume. <laughs> there aren't any good therapists here. Oh, take my insurance. Oh, that's so hard. That's so hard. Honestly, I can send you my therapist because she does remote. I don't know if she'll take your insurance, but like, could look into it or also could uh reach out to her and see if there's anyone she recommends hi compact we're talking about very serious things on the stream <laughs> welcome in uh but yeah brains are wild um yeah and i'm glad that i'm not like totally alone on the subject of of that sort of thing um because it's definitely like not something i want to talk about on stream very often because it is something that I like actively struggle with but yeah oh my god snuggly have a good lurk I hope things go well um but honestly even oh, I meant to catch them just I know that I'm in such a better place with it now that I can even like bring it up because like it's a, it, there's a lot of shame associated with having issues with that because it just in a lot of cases feels like it shouldn't be a problem but brains are never that simple. We're all really complicated. Love me some therapy, yeah. I do, I do enjoy therapy. Uh, my therapist is quite wonderful, a delight. Puts up with me for money. <laughs> I pay her to put up, I don't wanna, I'm not trying to say put up with me, it's her job to help me. Uh, and I am not a burden. <laughs> Therapy is slaying. Oh my god, they <laughs> murdered Snooker. Cruel. Therapy here is a bitch. The actual therapy support we have here where I work is so weak. Oh no. God, that is the small town struggle. I will say it is quite a bit of a luxury where I <laughs> live now, just having access to a wide variety. Even though, even still, like, I. I do have a therapist that's like technically out of my insurance because um, there's not enough therapists in my insurance that actually cover um, the specific stuff I need help with. I had the like no bad labels thingy. I've been told that before, but it's so hard to implement. My subconscious doesn't quit doing it. 
yeah, it's, it is super hard. Um, and I, it's like, yeah, I do it without even like thinking about it sometimes in terms of like, yeah, just emotions associated with specific foods. Um, but that's always the goal. And a lot of it just comes down to as well, like verbalizing it and stuff like that. And like, you know, if you're, you know, that's the, the small steps you can take, even if our subconscious isn't totally there. Like, like it's the same with like other aspects of like treating yourself with kindness and stuff. Um, like all we can do is one small step at a time, right? Like I'm not always gonna be able to feel like totally happy with myself. Oh. And the game isn't either apparently. That's kind of spooky. I didn't say for a while. Let's play Fortnite. <laughs> um, but yeah, all we can do is small steps towards helping ourselves and being kind to ourselves. And yeah, that was a bit sus, wasn't it? You know, the game didn't like <laughs> my actions. <laughs> Finally caught the keys, and they was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, hop on, hop play. I do want to play Fortnite. Maybe on stream sometime soon. I do just want to play it in general soon. Um, I love Cleveland. Wait, is that the key one? The Catholic? Wait, did that save or not? Catching a Pokemon was too heavy duty. <laughs> that too. Food is fuel. Food is fuel. The keys to the crash, yeah. Oh my gosh, I was watching a video about The Sims 2 last night, and I didn't realize how buggy it was, but they're like, yeah, there's so many, like, <laughs> small things. Man, poop! That will make the game completely crash, because the code, it's like <laughs> written on the most delicate code in the world, essentially. Um... I just thought that was very funny. So I was like, oh no, what if me catching this specific Pokemon at this place at this time is just like automatic crash? If you could have one Pokemon theme <laughs> play for G Fuel, what would it be? <gasps> Ooh, something with one of the evolutions. I feel like, oh my God, I feel like they could have something that was cute. Rotom flavor sounds interesting. I wonder what it would taste like. What would like electricity taste like? I feel like you'd have to go for like a citrusy, like a bit of a bitter kind of tart taste. Um, my brain is saying tomato. Water flavor G Fuel. Can I put flavorless G Fuel actually? Um, Munchlax G Fuel. It's just every flavor combined. Pop Rocks. Oh, that would be fun if you could like have it have like pop rocks in it or have it like have the sensation no no joe sandwich flavor g fuel <laughs> after this game man this game does send me in a sandwich in a sandwich journey the ag food no it doesn't take suggestions really wait what flavor oh my god snicker tufted out so i wouldn't feel sad i love snicker water flavor caffeine might make it drink more caffeine trail it was a nice try wait what did you tr what flavor did you try the g fuel overlords don't take suggestions oh make me okay well also in a general sense honestly like probably a lot more people would consume caffeine <laughs> choose next pokemon <laughs> get me g fuel on the line <laughs> <laughs> G-Fuel, <laughs> make more Tetris flavor. <laughs> and a pal who wanted, yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad that they discontinue them. That feels very silly. Sorry, Munchlax fell. Scared me. Asked G-Fuel to fix this and they said they couldn't control that. Who then, who can? Maybe G-Fuel is ran by like an omnipotent being. That's <laughs> like some <laughs> God. <laughs> who knows? Tetris in the EU, but not the UK website or not the US website. Oh, Steel and Fairy. <laughs> Damon tagging them. Don't bring them into here. I have I have beef with G Fuel. Don't you all remember the very cool photo that I took for a G Fuel fridge contest and then lost? <laughs> Rude. Did not win. I was very, very sad. <laughs> 
And then also them firing a bunch of employees wasn't great, but like, I have beef. Just them not giving me a free fridge. <laughs> I wanted a mini fridge to put my, <laughs> to put my skincare in. <laughs> Which also like works now because like where would I put a mini fridge in this apartment? Like I have no space. Sci-fi Tetris movie script somewhere out there in the world. Into the Tetris verse. All right, I'm gonna put. Oh, Snickers fainted. Stop that. Oh, I gotta revive you first. Revive you. Very cute. Big thank you. It was it was very cute. Shout out to Callie for taking those photos for me. Do you ever just walk up to your roommate and you're like, hey roommate. Can you take some pictures of me in my cosplay for a contest? <laughs> Thankful. Oh, oh, I guess I'm doing a picnic. Let's make a sandwich. I haven't bought sandwich ingredients in the longest time, though. Oh my god, look at Raw XD, so handsome. Look at my team. They're so perfect. The pieces were supposed to be ships. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> putting up what you're putting. Putting up what you're picking down. <laughs> picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> All right, let's make something delightful. <laughs> Potato tortilla. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> I, uh, I just like picking whatever I have the most of. <laughs> All my friends that take photos of me, I love them, but they make me look like a furry cryptid. No. For Callie, I literally had to, like, what, what I think actually honestly helps is I had her pose and took a photo of her in the way that I wanted the photo to be taken so I could show it to her and be like, okay, this is what we're aiming for. Honestly helps a lot, but I'm also very bad at directing people when it comes to, oh God, I'm so bad at directing people when it comes to photos, which was, cause I was also the friend with like cameras growing up. So I would all, all, often be in charge of taking other people's photos for like cosplay and stuff like that. But I'm really bad at telling people how to pose. It's not one of my skills. Potluck sandwich. I, well, maybe we'd eat this with the strawberries. I don't know. I just don't know what like the potato things taste like. I just always have so much of them. Everything stayed together. Honestly, that's a good sandwich. That's a good sandwich right there. We love our carbs. We are carbo loading. We're preparing for a journey with some cream cheese. I feel like cream cheese and strawberries goes really well together. Oh, it's, this tea is so gross. <laughs> I hate that it makes my throat feel better because I think it's disgusting. <laughs> They're gonna love it, right? I don't know what that face was. Oh, okay, yeah. How do I make a bad sandwich? Like I've seen, oh, maybe I need to put like vinegar on stuff. I'm not, I'm not including enough vinegar in my masterpieces. Someone's vrooming outside. Wow, look at them. We'll be lurking. Have a good lurk, Rogue. Thank you. I will have fun. I will. Look <laughs> like your trainer just puked. They do that every time. They're like, thing. We're twins, honestly. Oh my god. Wait, this is me. <laughs> Can you stop running away from me? <laughs> Let me interact with you. Oh, very cute. Okay. Can I stand next to you now? If I open up my camera, I've never actually taken a photo. But I just want to compare me. Oh, open your eyes. It just saying they also have blue eyes, so we're like the same. Okay, twinning. Oh. <sighs> I'm glad I haven't coughed as much during this as I was afraid that I was going to. I was ready for my body. Oh my God, look at all the fires! All the snugglies hanging out. Okay, let's catch this one. A little gothic friend. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute. How am I feeling? I'm feeling like pretty good. I've definitely um, been coughing a fair amount today. 
But like, oh, and I was quite tired. Like I took a nap today. Um, other than that, I'm okay. Like I got my taste back. It was only gone for a couple days. Uh, so yeah, I would say like I'm on the up and up. I'm hoping I feel better for Christmas time. Um, I'm thinking I should be good by then, but I'd really like to spend time with my family. My sister's supposed to be coming down as well from Vancouver, except the weather's been um, so snowy that she's kind of concerned she won't be able to make it down, which is really sad because we haven't had like a family Christmas together in a while. So yeah, it would be nice for all of us to just get to hang out and play cribbage. But now I know how to play cribbage so I can win. Um, <laughs> last time I played cribbage, I won twice and I felt very cool and great at games. Did you do a taste test with hot sauce or something? Oh, I tasted everything. The morning that I lost my taste, I made coffee and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I can't taste this coffee went through my kitchen. I was eating like everything and I was like, no, I can't taste peanut butter. I can't taste Nutella. <laughs> like, I had like freeze dried strawberries and I was like, it's all just texture. <laughs> no. Cribbage. Oh my God. I'm now a cribbage expert. I am a professional. Um, honestly, I got, I'm, I'm a bit cocky now. Now I'm like, I have to win. Oh, I've already caught you. Go away. What gym is here? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be leveling up. Oh, I, I want Snicker to evolve. That was what I wanted to do. So I was trying to run around with them. But it's hard because they despawn. But there's a cave over there. I just, oh no, I came up through that cave. I didn't know that. I did know that. Okay, have I caught everything over here? Oh, <gasps> wait, there's a Sylveon. I used to play that with my dad. Oh, my family loves it. We That's like one of the games we'd play at family reunions, like set up a tournament bracket and go for it. So we haven't had a family reunion in a really long time. It would be quite fun to do that again. I'd like to see all my cousins and their kids. So many of my cousins have kids now. I'm like, whoa. My partner was terrified of COVID because they hate a lot of food textures and the only thing that motivates them to eat is taste. That's very fair. It is super weird to eat food and only feel the texture or if it's like texture or like feel your body's res like chemical response to stuff. Like eating onion would have like a very specific feeling with it. Um, or same with eating like sugar, you could still get like the sugar rush. The love you family reunion, exactly. When I was like a baby, we, we used to have them fairly often and like really big ones with like, lots of lots of family but they're hard to plan and now my family's like even further all stretched apart from each other like you know i'm here in america Ugh. Ugh. why would anybody do that <laughs> where's sylveon i want her also this guy i don't think i have yet either and then we're gonna do this which is psychic psychic gem Oh, you're so cute. Look at you, existing. Should I catch another for being so cute? Have any of you had any luck with a... Uh... Oh my god, they're level 44. <laughs> no, that is a, that is a thick, uh, thick boy. Um, had any luck with shiny hunting? Oh my god. Uh, just imagine existing in a world where there are fields of dough just, just running around. Running in the open field. Little doughy boys. Oh. My teacup. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Still looking for. Sh I'm shocked by how elusive that's been. Like, the odds are incredibly not in your favor. It's very rude. I hope that they appear in a like delightfully cinematic, but also very soon moment. Yeah, cause you've been grinding that forever. Stop, go out again. <laughs> Please. Oh, now I'm zoning out. I, oh, I just really wanted to find a Sylveon here. 
accurate is the map thing? I feel like it's so hit or miss with if like <laughs> any of those Pokemon are actually around. Oh, now silly. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, these bug guys are creepy too. Imagine meeting one IRL. I feel like it would hurt me in my feelings. Shiny dunge spots. Cute. Cute friend. Oh, bird. Not super accurate. Oh, okay. Okay, then I won't trust. I also haven't found an Eevee again since that one I killed. <laughs> uh, oh, squirrels! I don't know if I've caught you. Oh, good old sword and shield throwback here. Just start referring to any. Oh, I already caught you. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. You're nothing to me. You're trash. Um. Uh... <laughs> what do I? What was I gonna say? Oh, I'm going to refer to all Pokemon from past games as throwbacks from here on out. <laughs> oh, what a fun throwback <laughs> to Gen, the one before this one. What Gen are we on? Nine? Ten? Okay. I keep going places to hunt a shiny and getting different shinies. Oh no, damn. Oh God. <laughs> What am I gonna do with all these shinies <laughs> that aren't the specific one I want? Sorry, I felt the urge to quickly check for music. We're on nine, okay. Okay, so less, less Pokemon generations than Taylor Swift albums. I got it. <laughs> one less currently, we'll see how that changes. Aww. He just went to bed. God, live in the dream. <laughs> Spiper, aww. Oh God, okay. Um, Stunky and Wooper shinies. Wooper, that is how you pronounce it. I was calling them Whopper before. I was like, I remember I was misspeaking for Wooper's name, but I can't remember how. Whopper. Aw, I, I hope that you get the snake that you deserve. Yeah, I'd like, well, I'd like really any, uh, hmm. Some shinies are ugly, which feels cruel to say. Cooper! <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, beautiful. Now you woke up. <laughs> I love the squish animation. <laughs> um, yeah. Just living life, living like Larry, out here every day. We caught him. One more for the books. <gasps> Snicker's level 44. Snicker just needs to evolve. <laughs> Me boy. A gentle scratching. That's how I feel when I get into bed, when Muska steps on me. Oh my god, Muska has had the worst habit lately of <laughs> he wants to go on the fridge all the time, which would be fine if he didn't jump on me to do it he like out of nowhere will jump on my back and like claw into me with his claws to then jump onto the fridge and it scares me so bad every time <laughs> like, i'll scream in my apartment oh, i haven't caught you yet okay Bug man, he looks like a very like a villain for a Power Rangers show. Go, go, Power Rangers. It's weird to think of how big Power Rangers was, or Power Rangers like adjacent shows through the 90s, because I didn't watch any of them. But they were quite a thing. What was oh, there was another one I was thinking of specifically. Um But yeah, it's weird when like a genre of media completely like skips past you oh same with um transformers like i have not seen a single transformers anything like show or movie or anything yeah <laughs> my monster girl. yeah he's a ferocious beast um who's your childhood aw transformers of power rangers oh and we're still over okay Oh, another one of those birds. Transformers cartoons was late 80s. Oh, okay, so a bit, bit later, or, or um, too early for probably most of us. A dark bug, he looks so funny. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, man, it's so satisfying. Every little book that's added, I'm like, yes. Yes! One step closer, Beast Wars. What is that? I think I need the tall one. Don't mind me, just uh, getting in a fight. At least you forget. Peak 90s content. Yeah, I think that was just one of the, the things I never watched. Cause also like, growing up, like I was saying before, I didn't have access to much TV other than what was just public broadcasting. So if it didn't play on the like weekend cartoons that played on Fox, like weirdly enough, Fox <laughs> played the morning cartoons I watched um, on four kids. I watched four kids growing up. Uh, I didn't see it. So yeah, there's a lot of those series that like, I just never saw any of. I had the polar bear action figure from Beast Wars, Thundercats, and He-Man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also have not seen any of those. I did watch, so there was a Netflix documentary that I quite liked that was like very up my alley. It was the history of different like toys or toy franchises. And they had one, I think, for He-Man. I think, it's been a while since I watched this, but I remember thinking it was quite interesting. Um, that was like a cool series. M2 Fox used to be cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, definitely never watched the news on there, but I certainly wouldn't watch it now. But yeah, they had like a good Saturday morning cartoon block. Um, Q13 Fox. Oh, that, yeah, Q13 Fox. That's Fox. Duh. <laughs> he man was Pog, that man. I heard like the new, the new she is really good too. I just need to watch it at some point. The Toys That Made Us, exactly, Chris, exactly. Yeah, I really liked that series. Uh, I've also seen like some good documentaries about Lego as well, because I think Lego's such an interesting company. Uh, also just loved Legos. KCPQ. Oh, is that the channel? <laughs> uh. Oh my God, look at those big guys. Wait, who's, this, who's the little one? Is it one of the coin ones? Oh, you guys are kind of scary. I just want to get the coin boy. <laughs> Give me a girl. I, I don't know if I've actually caught them yet. Yes. <laughs> a nice cliff to battle at. Toys and Me is so good. Oh, I'm glad other people have seen it and enjoyed it. I definitely did. I'd rewatch it if I had Netflix. Um, God, I'm trying to think of like what's gonna finally make me bend over and get a Netflix subscription. But it's, it's I'm just so bad at watching shows for the first time. I think if there's something I like that I've already seen, I'll like happily go back and watch it over and over again. <laughs> Damn mountain go goats they're like go -gurts. <laughs> And it's a mountain go -gurt. Oh, look at their little feet with the orange. I like that. Oh, it matches their eyes. Oh my God, they painted their nails to match their eyes. We love a fashionable king. I visited Bellingham once when we were passing KVOS. My group was like, whoa, cool in the local Bellinghams. We're all so confused. Wait, wait, what's KVOS? I used to live in Bellingham. Oh my god, I have like such positive memories of the Bellingham Barnes and Noble because that's the one my family used to stop at at like road trips up to Canada. We would stop at Barnes and Noble and get books. Like how many figures are standardized from a dude in a suit going, eh, Star Wars figures could be about this big. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> This size should be fine. <laughs> All right, give him a headbutt. You silly little lion. God, he looks like he'd be so soft though. I love how like felted the Pokemon in this game look. They do look like you could make them with like whatever that felting is called. Needle point. Needle, needle point? Needle felting? Mm. All right, Gogurt, you shall be mine. Oh my god, it's so dark out. It's only 520, I can't believe it. Man, I'm ready for the days to get longer again. When's the shortest day of the year? I guess that's in winter proper, right? Go, go, Power Rangers, go, go. Go, go, Power Goats. Oh, and they're fighting. That's a good goat, that's a good. Go right there. Who else is around? Oh my god, there's like, such a squad of them. Oh, I like it. 
Tomorrow's the solstice. Whoa, the timing on that. Impeccable. Okay, sweet. Honestly, Pog. Wait, does that mean winter is... <laughs> winter is... <laughs> tomorrow? Also, my anniversary. Nine years. Oh my god, congratulations. That is very cute. Very cute. Are you gonna do anything fun for it? I love an anniversary celebration. I love caring about dates and numbers. <laughs> oh man, that's walking. You guys walking real, <laughs> real jittery. Okay, let's heal and I might as well just test out the gem. See what the gym's like. Oh, it's psychic. Oh boy, what is good against psychic? Hmm. Trying to decide if I like the music here or not. Winter begins tomorrow. Technically, all the snow is autumn. <laughs> autumn snow. Disgusting. Love a good solstice. Ghost. Ooh, gonna do some pagan stuff. <gasps> Damon, are you? Are you? Gonna do some celebrations of the changing of the seasons. Ghost and dark. Okay. I have. I have a hunter. I should pull him out again. Me ghosty, but my mom messaged me a thumbs up. Harry. <laughs> Chloe pudding. Very accurate things in the Discord memes. How are you doing on the Titans? I'm pretty good. I think I have most of them. Wait, let me. I think I've done everything on like the south end of the map other than this gem. Wait, yeah. I have two more titans, I think. So I can do those, or three more. Oh shit, wait, no, two more. So yeah, I could do this gym and then I could do those two titans and then I could start doing uh, everybody else. I think that would be a good play. A lot of standard Christian traditions were annexed from paganism, yes. Why, I don't know why in my brain I was like not interpreting annexed as the <laughs> that's a term that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> gonna burn an effigy in the woods and do a harvest dancer you know what good time a good time is there anything better than burning a thing that represents other things flying fire mm. oh catch up rest in peace where's my hunter ghost and poison ghost and dark Uh, yeah. And they're normal types, so I don't really need them, do I? Ichiko's dark. Yeah, so let's put Hunter back in. Let's do it. Oops. <laughs> oh, they're like the same level, so that isn't honestly. Okay, and we'll move them to the top, and I'll do, do, do a little grinding. Get them to a level. Ketchup taken before it's time. Delicious ketchup. One day they will. Ooh, let's go do that thing. Um, one day they will thrive again. Oops. <laughs> Did that? Oh no. Okay. I thought we were gonna fight, but I guess not. Oh, I should. Oh, I haven't caught you before. Wait, who are you? It's the rock. The rock dog evolution. Oh my god, look at their nails. Fabulous. Fantastic. Please punch this dog. <laughs> you could cast it too bad. <laughs> I heard the rare shiny. Oh. <gasps> uh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very cruel for an attack to be licking. Oh my god, it's literally so cute. Guess maybe double take. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, it's a boy. He's so cute. The <laughs> shiny, rare shiny is a alt form of Dunsparce. I don't actually know. It lost. Um, I don't really know what these attacks do that my hunter has. Oh, she's levitating. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thought a shiny had been found. No, not yet. And to be fair, I probably wouldn't know if... 
excuse me, if a shiny did show up because I'm so bad at identifying them. One day, hopefully, but for the time being, are we just keep trading abilities? <laughs> what does payback do? Oh, good. Okay, so I should punch them slowly to death. And they will heal themselves. <laughs> Maybe I should change. I don't want to change. I'm s I am want to stick to my hunter. Haunter. Oh, I need to give them a nickname. I don't think I have still. Or I did give them a nickname. It was just me accidentally removing one letter from the- No, that's Haunter. Hmm. What would their name be? Ghosted. Ghoul. What's the name of the guy from... Zach Vargas. I can name him Zach <laughs> from Ghost Adventures. Was Ghost Adventures popular in the UK? Or like what ghost shows? Are ghost shows a thing in the UK? Haven't really conceptualized that ghost shows might just be an American thing. I can't be though, because there's so many old buildings I feel like in the UK. I feel like I feel like it'd be so easy to be like, yeah, Terry's house down the road's haunted, because it's been here since 1842. Okay, oh, we have ghost shows. Ghost shows are big in the- okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Your whole country is like <laughs> So much older than mine. Got lots of old places to be haunted. Yeah That makes complete sense. Zach or Zach? I actually don't know if I think siphy has gone But if they were here, they would know. There are like local <laughs> Ghost adventures <laughs> expert. God, what attack is gonna do? Maybe I should just keep uh, netball? Mm. Well, none of these balls really helped me, so I guess I might just try. So a lot of believers in the UK. Interesting. I can... Got all those old buildings, old places, lots of history, lots more history than us. Honestly, I feel like it makes more sense, way more sense for ghosts to be in the UK than in America. <laughs> there are no ghosts in America. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. They are a delight. So cute. Just fairy type, those are not useful to me right now, but I love them. I just, I just want to say, well worth the gasp, Evie. Okay. Um, let's go do that thing. Oh, let me heal, heal my, me boy. Should be flocks of ghosts everywhere. <laughs> Where are they travel in flocks? <gasps> oh my god, what a majestic horse. Remember when I only almost caught a shiny of them and then I killed them? Um, have I had a ghostly experience? Never haunted hospitals or care homes, though only out of the way scary looking places. Of course. I, uh, I wouldn't say I've ever had a ghostly experience. Giant ghost mosh pet. I know after, like, okay, so I feel like like ghosts are a complicated thing and I think whatever people believe that brings them comfort is like for the most part right you know as long as it's not harming other people um but like after I know after a pet died I would often like think that I would like for a cat like think I was hearing their bell or think I was seeing them in the corner of my eye just because I was used to that so I think I'd have experiences like that where I'd be like oh my god that I thought that was like my cat but they had passed um so I think that there's aspects of that that are like ghostly experiences, just in that it's like the the remnants of our memories of them. Like that we we see in our everyday life. But that doesn't necessarily mean that like it's ghosts in the like media way, right? Or to say anyone has. Oh Damon. Oh Damon. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I don't tend to believe that there are like ghosts that are like out there to harm us or anything. But I feel like ghosts are our, like memories, our expectations about what's gonna be in a space. Payback. What will that do? I should just read the instructions. Did a little bit of something at least, a little bit. Um, 
feel like I was thinking about Ghost recently. Oh, I was <laughs> I was working on a song. Um, Cause I, yeah, I kind of like follow the concept of like, we create our own ghosts. Yeah, I'm saying the ghosts are in your head. No, not, I mean, again, like everybody has different experiences, but um, I was working on a song and part of it goes, like if we create our own ghosts, if we create our ghosts, which I, I don't know, even in context, it doesn't add a lot, but yeah. Um, but yeah, just that like ghosts are like so much of our own memories, I guess. Ghosts, Shaggy and Scoob. Man, I am. I did not make the right Pokemon for this. I need to start paying more attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, let's uh, go all out. <laughs> like what we're scared to see. Um, well, like it could be that. <coughs> it could be that, but also like kind of like what your expectations are right or like what you're used to like if you've lived with someone and they pass um if you're like used to them like walking down the hallway or like seeing them around the corner or something like your brain will want to like think those things are still happening just because you're used to them like how dream faces are in a smash of faces we've seen kind of yeah yeah um yeah our brain our brains fill in the blanks for us so if you hear like a creak that's just like the house settling, you might be like, oh, what's the sound of like that person walking? Um, kind of thing. I'm running out of time. We actually might not do this. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh well. Um, the whole like having <laughs> dreams about <laughs> real people is so weird though, because it's so weird when like a celebrity pops up in your dream. Um, like the frames you don't see when you're, yeah, you fill in the blanks of the frames that you don't see, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> I had a dream, I think I talked about this somewhat recently, about like making out with Nick Jonas, and I was like not into the Jonas Brothers when I was younger, so it was like the weirdest thing. When I woke up, I was like, I felt really uncomfortable, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick Jonas, like that felt invasive. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pull through. Oh my god, my tag team's dead. I have not been paying enough attention. Oh well. Oh well. Make out dream, yeah. Spicy. Spicy. That's another one also where you wake up from your and like, oh. It's kind of rude. Brain. Simmer down, okay? <laughs> we don't need to be kissing people in our dreams. <laughs> Look at those lips. That's what I get it from. Call up Nick Jonas in a pot. This <laughs> image was used in loan. I'm <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. I don't know why I was thinking of him even either. Cause I was like, what have I seen Nick Jonas in ever? Like, I don't like listen to his music. I don't watch him and stuff. Just, I've been secretly like binge watching the, uh, <laughs> the Jonas Brothers show. <laughs> nice rate, thank you. I I did a really good job. Like my type matchup was perfect. <laughs> Don't y'all wanna raid with me like all the time? <laughs> like every time y'all do your like <laughs> Seven star Charizard, like, okay, everybody we're gonna do like this specific thing and I'm over here like <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> uh bad bad you know we all play games however we want to experience them and uh sometimes i just like not caring too much all right is there anyone else here i've uh caught or haven't caught yeah ouch i lick it forget him oh cute little flutter friend oh cute little friend Oh, I already caught that bird. Just every time I see it, though, I get really excited because it looks like, like an exciting big thing. Honestly, if I saw an ostrich in real life, it'd be really hard for me not to approach it. But also, I'd be so scared of it. Got a lot of like conflicting. Oh, what are you? Feelings. Oh my God, it's on a little. <gasps> it's a little flower. Oh my God, it's so cute, Fluette. 
I would lick it. <laughs> it is quite an exciting. I know ostriches are like so scary, but also very cool. So how do they do it? How do they be so big? How can I be like that? <laughs> if you could be like an animal, <laughs> I think I would want to be a bird. Yeah, I feel like I'd want to be a hawk or I'd want to be like a duck. I'd like to be a bird. I'd like to just hang out and fly. Maybe swim. See, I feel like hawk is the best because I can fly. I'm a predator. <laughs> I'm like poking on like a toddler. What's this better licking? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know its type matchup quite yet. Be a dog or a cat. I feel like it would be so nice to sleep as a cat. Like whatever they experience when they're sleeping, I would like to have at some point. Like they just seem so co like laying in a little sunbeam or on the windowsill. Last time I went to the zoo, we made friends with an ostrich. It had this huge space all to itself with a road around it. We walked around the whole thing and it followed us the whole way, sniffing at us over the fence. Aww. I wonder what it thought of you. I wonder if it was like, I could take them on. <laughs> or if it was like, friend. <laughs> ostrich curious. Ooh, oh, okay. I know you. I know you. I try to eliminate the ropes that I'm chained to. Let's get some all American rejects up in here. Was that them? I think that was. One day you'll say, even if you got down on my knees, you couldn't make me stay. Drive all night. That's that song. Friend, aw, no hostility, cute. Oh, that's really sweet. I wanna go to the zoo. Lemon was talking about going to the zoo in her stream and I was like, oh man, I, I really wanna go to the zoo today. <laughs> that sounds really fun. <laughs> All right, please heal my boys. Aw, friend. Not that I stared in his eyes, that'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, just... Animals do love direct eye contact for prolonged periods of time. I think it's like scientifically known, right? It's never seemed as a threat or anything. I love the advertisements that they have up here. I feel like that's just such a cute detail. Ah, uh, I like ads. <laughs> I like people selling me things. <laughs> I'm a simple lady. <laughs> Make me wanna buy stuff. All right, go kill things. Go kill it. I'm in zoo Oh my god, that would be so fun. Like an IRL zoo stream. <gasps> I would love that. I would love to do IRL streams if I could figure out a way to do that and not like end up doxing myself or anything. Oh, speaking of, I was thinking about it. Well, not like super related. Oh, okay. I don't care about that bird. I just want to go on top of this hill now. Um, there is a zoo in Seattle. Yeah, there's, oh my god, what is it called? There's the Point Defiance Zoo, which is not in Seattle, but is nearby. I don't remember what the one in Seattle is. Seen those glasses with the fake eyes looking off to the side? The suitcase people viewing gorillas? Oh my god, with shutter shades almost with holes in them. Wow, I guess like, that's what you need to do to keep the animal comfortable. And also because, yeah, we can't really trust humans all the time. Humans have been kind of dumb. Are you to film zoos? Yeah, I think, I think usually you are. Um, oh my god, I had wanted to go to my local zoo, but in the UK, interesting. Yeah, whatever, whatever makes the animals comfortable and happy. I really like one of the zoos near me, the Point Defiance one. They're quite a, they're quite a good zoo. Um, but I haven't been to the saddle one in a really long time. Ooh. I never, I know there's like specific cups that are rare. <laughs> I don't know what ones are though. Oh, you're dying. Don't die. Um. I was like, oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a retro game store that I, I went to that I think they're called like Pink Gorilla Games that they like live stream themselves working for like 10 hours. Um, they might be streaming right now, who knows? Uh, but I was like, oh, that'd be fun to like go and like be on their stream, just like shopping in the store. But then I'm like, oh my God, what if I like 
have to give my personal information for something like that kind of actually stresses me out <laughs> i don't know i'm sure that i like would handle things in a way where that wouldn't be an issue but it's like man what if i want to buy something and they're like well what are the three digits on the back you know <laughs> things that have not ever happened in my life but i'm suddenly worried about but i want to go there again and see if they have what barbie game there's one specific barbie game i was looking for the cups are the same apart from shiny, and then the evolution can be a rarer one. I see. Lincoln Park Zoo is pretty. Is that? Oh, wait, that's the one in Chicago, right? Have I been to that one? No, I've been to some in California, but not in Chicago. I do like going to zoos when I travel. I always feel like it's a interesting experience to, like, um, I don't know, see what animals that other people want to see, I guess. Aw, Hunter. <laughs> Okay, well maybe I should just, well, let's see what TMs I can get for you. Let's see how I can make you maybe a little better. I ignore TMs so often. This game does make me actually care a little bit more about them. <laughs> I love Pikachu in love. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how do I want to do this? Fairy. Dark? Not poison. Or ghost. Confuse ray. Confusion. Massive damage to a target affected by status. Oh, so I could do lick, so they're paralyzed, and then. Power 65. I guess that's. strong? But I don't have the stuff I need for it, so just kidding. Okay. I'm gonna try so hard. And get so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> you had to fall to lose it all, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I never was super into Lincoln Park. Ghost slash poison. Oh, I should look at poison. Um, but I liked simple plan. I was a bit of a simple plan girl. Simple plan and all American rejects, I would say, were very much my like <laughs> preferred angsty teen tune. Poison. A zoo field trip would be very fun. Okay. The user drenches the target in a special poisonous liquid. This moves power is doubled if the target is poisoned. God, for some reason, all of a sudden, reading feels very hard. Okay. I can do acid spray. Also, harshly lowers their defense. Oh, honestly? Like that. I feel like that's a good... That's a good starter, you know. Throw an acid spray in there first thing. Yes. My boy. Okay. Um, what is payback? The user stores power in the attacks. This moves power is doubled if the user moves after the target. I'm never going to remember the instructions for that. So we're not going to do <laughs> I don't want... Oh, I guess... <laughs> and is my dark move. Oh, ghost poison. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just saying words. Let's just go do this, gem. How is... We just healed. Oh, maybe I can level up with uh, candy. Do I have candies? That's not what I want to look at. Back. A pokey doll. Rare candy. I could. I could get it up to 40. Payback isn't great on Hunter because you want to hit second with it. Oh, so, okay, good. Good. Thank you for justifying my actions. Acid spray sound. I know, that's, it's basically GERD. <laughs> I'm, I have acid spray, but I use it against myself. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Hunter's level 40. Beautiful. Fantastic. Nice. Lovely. Beautiful. Delight. Uh, gorgeous. Oh, I'll still need to do whatever the, like, quest or, like, mini, uh, mini game is. All right into the unknown as they say and by they i do mean 
Elsa. <laughs> Pokemon enthusiast. Oh, Jacques. Jacques, just reflexing all over the competition. You know it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fuck with someone if they were reflexing. <laughs> Hello, hello, is he French? Polyvis Francais. How does your treasure hunt figure out what you're hunting for yet? That isn't very French. I've been really bad at my accents lately. Yeah. Come here, Bien. I can't think of other French words. That's great. Look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. I'm just adding a lot of z sounds. <laughs> Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of the treasure hunt. It's not an easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. I like that he has uh, slides on. He's a very chill man. Is he an artist? Is he... A... Oh, make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got my back. Oh, thank you. <gasps> he gave me lucky me. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Jacques. Jacques is the name of a character in a Nancy Drew game. Also, okay, because I am streaming around Christmas time... Tuesday, Thursdays. Should I play a snowy Nancy Drew game next week? I was thinking that could be fun because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it all in one sitting. Um, so I could do it over two days. But there's a snowy Nancy Drew game that I feel like would be kind of like <laughs> Christmas adjacent. <laughs> Not necessarily Christmas, but <laughs> sadly they don't have a specific non-denominational holiday themed game. Okay, working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. Oh god. <laughs> Emotional spectrum back. Oh, we're, we're straining our emotions. <gasps> Wait, this sounds delightful. This sounds like something I am fully capable of doing. I'm really good at being emotional. Sometimes too emotional. <laughs> Just crying. <laughs> Tears streaming down my face. Go to the practice area. Oh. I was thinking of White Wolf last night and the coldness bars that drop until Nancy freezes, right? I wasn't going to play White Wolf because I don't want it. <laughs> I want to play Sea of Darkness because I never played it. Oh my god, she looks so cool. Dendra, almost Deirdre. Okay. Welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Why is your battle studies teacher here at Pokemon Gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says, so we battled and, well... <laughs> Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is my chance to get both a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of Emotional Spectrum Practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement and all you have to do is copy it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Good call on White Wolf. Avoid the <laughs> fucks and geese rage. I... God, yeah, I haven't played it in so long. What am I doing? Um... Why am I just standing in front of this kid? It's kind of a dick move. I'm, like, so much taller than her as well. This one it's this oh it's b i see oh god oh god oh god this is very strange i'm so mad all right everybody what makes you angry my angry thing is roommate not closing the toilet seat. Am I just supposed to do it once? Am I supposed to hold it? I can't hold it. That was a good sound. Oh my god! I love the um, slowpoke. They're just having a good time. Show me all my joy. Okay, I wonder if I passed then. I don't know if I fucked up because I kept clicking. 
<laughs> I kept doing emotions. We naming icks? Ooh, I guess technically. Now I was just showing, I was saying what made me mad, but I guess that's an ick, kinda. Oh, okay. Am I fighting a child? <laughs> I guess she's getting revenge because I stood right in front of her. Um, one of my icks is people at concerts that like push in front of you and then stand right in front of you. It makes me so mad. If I get somewhere early and you come and you try and like push in front of me, no, get away. I got here like three hours early for a reason. I'm gonna bite you, except I can't because I'm wearing a mask. Oh my God, Hunter. <laughs> Why have you died so quick? <laughs> Oh, we have bite. <laughs> um, yeah, that happened to me when I saw Tessa Violet, and I was so mad. Evolve your hunter to Gengar if you trade it. If I trade it, I don't want to trade. Him. I want to trade him. He's mine. <laughs> Okay. What level are they? Wait, am I like super under leveled for this gem? You can have it back. I mean, like, <laughs> it was technically true, but. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Gengar is kind of cool. All concerts should have assigned seats. I do like I like I don't mind a standing room show. I don't mind it. I like being you know as up close to the front as I can. And but yeah, I hate it when people like shove around and like stop. They need a Pokemon two. Pokemon two. Yeah, it's weird that they never made a sequel. Was oh, a little ballerina. How do you all feel about ballet? Do you enjoy watching it? I really enjoy watching ballet, but it's so expensive. It's so expensive. God, like, man, one day when I'm rich, I'm gonna be going to the ballet a lot. Also, I guess I could just get like bad seats. Well, not, are there any bad seats to ballet? Yeah, there are. Let's sit behind a pool, that would suck. Um, I like ballet. I tried doing it as a kid, but I just like, I don't know, man. I'm just not, not a dancer. I don't have the coordination. I don't have the patience. Oh, we're doing this again? Oh, we like keep going. I get it. This is interesting. Okay, embodiment of joy. <laughs> huh? Nani? <laughs> no, Zoom! They really did mini games in this. <laughs> I just like that sound. <laughs> yeah, the little sounds are good. I'm like zoning out. This reminds me of the uh, Puss in Boots mini game from Shrek 2. <laughs> Put me in the clip. What? to check to see if something was going on. <laughs> Hold out all that lactic acid. Something incredibly surreal about that mini game. <laughs> Raphael. What a man. I got 60 second delay. Oh, no worries. Honest, I feel like it might be stuff from my end as well because it seems like you know, Twitch is a little crunchy today. 
Rum pig. Uh, oh fuck, fight. Are they gonna immediately murder him? No, we're doing good. Everything's okay. I need to just add a delay onto my brain as well. <laughs> I'm just not gonna look at chat for a really long time. Um, glad I have a Snapchat. Oh God, oh God. Send pick promoted on OP streamers. Man, the like, <laughs> the, the spam accounts on Instagram are so well. Same with Twitter. I don't know. Oh, it's been like so bad on Instagram though. Any stories I post will always have like random accounts that don't follow me and have their like name five numbers that like my stories. I'm like, why are you here? Like, what is, it's so weird. Get out. <laughs> it's not for you. So glad I'm off Snapchat. That's fair. I, I enjoy, well, some parts of Snapchat I enjoy. The spam was getting annoying. I see. Um, I only like Snapchat, like three friends, basically. Um, and a lot of it is pet photos. <laughs> private it on insta yeah it's very strange i'm like weird vibes what are you all doing here but yeah twitter's been really bad as well i like actually it's been better the last couple of days but there was a while where every single day at least every single day i was being added to like a like group message that was being like here's a business opportunity and i'm like no no! Stop it! <laughs> you spam! <laughs> Do you realize you spam? I don't know! <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I feel like it's those people that like... <laughs> don't... <laughs> I'm imagining a person that like joins an MLM but like doesn't know that it's an MLM till they're in too late. Like there was a company... Uh, um a knife selling company like that was a big thing with where they'd get like college students to join but like people wouldn't realize that it was basically an mlm till it was too late <laughs> when you don't realize you're spam hello king welcome in spammed too close to the sun oh wait who's getting play rough oh <laughs> i could get rid of magical leaf but it never misses but player off's kind of fun. Cut co knives, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh my god, my my old roommate that uh, was an opera singer <laughs> sold cut co knives for a while. Weird guy, weird people. Did any of you ever join an MLM? I have not. I've I have been chugging on that anti MLM train for too long. Oh my god, he had the weirdest resume because he like he was a char he was a character. He would he would get at jobs. He would do really well at his job and then he'd get like full of himself and be kind of like a dick. And then he so he would like think he deserves promotions because he was doing really well at the start of his job, but then he would be like being a dick so they wouldn't want to promote him. So he could never get promotions anywhere he went. Like he and he would like be a good employee. Until he got full of himself. So. <laughs> yeah, and like having a degree in opera performance during a pandemic, not, doesn't work out super well for you. Not the best way for things to go. Oh, I finished. Oh, thank God. That was dreadful. <laughs> My poor team got absolutely annihilated. Oops. Oops, nice ball. But yeah, don't be a dick to your coworkers. We had a really good operatic performance. Am I actually the greatest of all time? Ha! Huh, it's so weird that you're, you're just directly quoting this individual. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize till just now it shows them in the ball that you caught them 
<laughs> There's the hacking and coughing as promised. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Citrus. I'm recovering from the COVID. So I'm a little coffee still, uh, and I'm also trying to avoid drinking coffee. What a dreadful combination of life that is. Uh, <laughs> But I'm doing good. Yeah, I am still enjoying the Pokemons as well. I've kind of only been playing on stream, but honestly, that works well for me. The only thing I play off stream right now is uh, Fortnite. <laughs> Just really into, really into some mindless Fortnite. Some couching. Is that what I put in the title? <laughs> Comedians coughing without coffee, pure hell. The CCWC. Sounds like an organization that's like, <laughs> gonna come arrest me. <laughs> Getting sued by the CCWC. All right, bewitching beautician. <laughs> Tulip, after my heart, no doubt. <sighs> Hi, Snuggly, welcome back. What are you having for dinner? Please share. Season of Fortnite's really good. It is really good. Dahol recently recovered from a deadly tropical disease using his orange juice medicine. Really? Tell me more, Jahol. The dirt bikes are so fun. I was saying that in Snuggly stream last night. Oh my god, wait, she looks so cute. <laughs> Just so far, I love purple hair. <laughs> Hi, Dino, nice to meet you. Oh yeah, dinner's here watching. <laughs> a chicken wrap, oh, that sounds so good. I, well, I know Chloe didn't eat a lot of McDonald's growing up, but for those of you that did eat McDonald's growing up, the chicken wraps they used to have, the snack wraps, oh, they were so good. They were so good. Order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? The one new eyeshadow color. Do you know they only make one new eyeshadow color a year? Okay, she looks so pretty. Thanks, you all. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Beauty influencer. Yes, I did. So good. So good snacks. Oh my god, I love her like, ooh, gays. That was the only fast food I ate growing up. Really? Interesting. I remember I would go to like track meets with Callie and we would sometimes get to go straight home. So with track meets with my school, typically if you like rode a bus there, you had to ride the bus back. And that was just to make sure, you know, everyone got back together. Um, but my friend's mom was the photographer for track. So if her mom came to a meet to take photos, I would get to go home with them. Hello, Yellow Belly Fox. Welcome in for some Pokemon. You're playing Resident Evil. Wait, were you playing the first one? I miss Chicken Selects, the tendies. Oh, they're so good. Always had McNuggets. <laughs> Oh, McDonald's was the only fast food you ate growing up. I see, I see, I understand. I, <laughs> reading comprehension is kind of at zero right now. Hello, everybody, welcome in. My name is Mary, I'm a variety streamer right now. I'm playing through all of uh, Pokemon Violet, but I also am probably gonna play some more Nancy Drew soon. The very first, the HD remaster. How are you enjoying it? I wanna play it at some point, but I have watched some friends play it. I'm really trying to figure out a way to have his head pop up and it's just not working. <laughs> but yeah, if anybody hasn't had the chance, please feel free to follow, or please do follow Yellow Lily Fox because they are a delightful pal. I hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, thank you for sharing your community with me. Sorry, if I'm a little like, my brain is, is spacing out, I am recovering from COVID. So I have a little bit of COVID brain right now, but also hello, Moe Vicious and Gemstone. Welcome in to To Love the Gym Leader. And me talking about track and field in high school. <laughs> Just, oh my god, high school was so long ago now, which feels very strange. She called me cute. I'm ahead to bed. Good night, Jahul. Sweet dreams. I hope that you rest well and have a wonderful day tomorrow. And if it's snowing in your area, that it's not snowing too much. Never seen anyone play it, and I just Cooper a fight real bad. Oh no. It's, I feel like it's quite a hard game to go into not knowing anything. So, like, good on you for going in without knowing that and giving it a try very impressive i i don't there's very few games that i've done that with especially streaming because i feel like streaming makes them so much harder oh like we were talking about in lemon's discord today how it took me three hours to do one of the like frankly very simple puzzles in undertale 
Because, <laughs> like, things are so much more stressful, I feel like, when you're streaming, so it's so much easier to, like, get caught up in things. I love her purple mascara. She's got thick eyelashes. Coopered as a broom. They had a dark meat chicken make. Oh, did they? I wonder. I wouldn't know. I actually, speaking of which, it's weird. I I wasn't allowed to eat McDonald's till I was in fifth grade. So it was more that I wasn't the one that didn't eat McDonald's for a while. Goober the word is the only thing giving me serotonin at the moment, aw. Well, I hope you may have many a Goober. Yeah, the classic flower puzzle. <laughs> Breaking my mind. Dark meat at McDonald's sounds pretty gnarly, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, how I feel about it. I used to be like very into McDonald's. Um, I can't eat it or I don't quite enjoy it as much anymore. Uh, yeah. Once we were on a field trip in elementary school to McDonald's for a pancake breakfast. Oh, so yeah, the first time I went to a McDonald's was also on a field trip. Um, but it was <laughs> like a field trip to our local courthouse, which happened to be next to a McDonald's. Uh, you know, very casual, normal things. Okay. Honestly, I'm just... Uh, I'm gonna pull out a Chico. I'm just gonna make this easy on me. I felt the boss fight, and it had been an hour since I'd last seen it. Oh, no. And I instantly put too much in my inventory and ran across the oh, map. Oh, right. And pick the thing up clans. I'm all set. Hi, <laughs> Yellow, I'm so sorry. I may have just been created. Oh, God. But this is by far the best stream I've ever seen. <laughs> and probably ever will see. King, thank you for the pits. That's kind of scary to think of a sentient food. <laughs> I'm super done with the game for a hot ticket. Oh, yeah, respect to that. So, Yellow, if you need to go, like, take a break, um, get some food, get some rest, totally understand. Like, please take care of yourself. Uh, magic leaf. Magic leaf. I like this giraffe. Especially as I just ate it. <laughs> I am a chicken wrap, and this is how I talk. Wait, I wonder if I can do it, but I am a chicken wrap, and this is how I talk. It's kind of hard to, like, imitate, uh, the voice-to-text. I'm not super good at it. Also, it's weird that the voice-to-text on this page is a lady, but I think in my other one it's a guy. I wonder if it depends on... Oh, it might be different depending on if it's, uh, a sub one or a cheer one. Who's getting Screech? Screech! Oh. Uh, no. Chicken Rab definitely talks like the TTS lady. Confirmed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's just annihilate with my strongest, with my starter and the classic. Oh my God, I like guard, guard of God of war. Also, Chloe, how's your video work been going today? If y'all don't already, you should absolutely follow Snuggly on YouTube. Please do, because they deserve to be at a thousand subs, like, for Christmas. Everybody follow Snuggly for Christmas and watch all of their content and like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, Hyper Potion. Open up my work emails again and people are trying to reach me. Oh no, is everything okay? That's stressful. See, that is, I know I, you know, I know work-life separation, but I do have my work email on my phone. I took a sick day and realized so many people would want to know where I was. Oh. Well, I mean, it's kind of good to know that you are like a, an important part of the business, but also that is, that is hard. Open up work emails after work. Big mistake. <laughs> um, I don't have to open the emails, but I do like getting notifications when I get them. When I was a kid, we had a McDonald's days where we'd order cheeseburgers or hamburgers, fries, and that horrid orange drink, and they delivered to the school. Uh. Technically fine, but they're probably all think, oh, they're just trying to coordinate covering the phones. I see. Oh, well, that's not your fault, Snuggly. If you took the day off, like, it's okay. It's okay to take a day off. People will totally get it. Video's going okay. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's going all right. Glad things are going smoothly with it. But yeah, that is stressful. I actually do need to send a work email after this because I've been uploading files and they took like seven years to upload, but they're finally going to be done soon. So, all right, let's kill this one. Mm. 
<laughs> murder. I'm sad. I had a like Christmassy video planned out, but I'm definitely not going to be able to finish it within time for Christmas, especially because I've been working on the script for a completely unrelated different video. <laughs> Waited for half an hour and didn't hear anything, so I decided to call it a day. That is fair. Yeah, I think I think it's all okay. Agility, the user relaxes and I'm not going to do that. Of course, as soon as I do that, people start <laughs> trying to contact me. Aw, Chloe, oh no worries. That's reasonable to be stressed about that. I completely understand. Fully support not checking out on work on a sick day. I'm a union shop steward, so I always advocate for employees to exercise their rights. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, it is okay to take a sick day. Especially on a day where it's also hard to travel. Like, there was so much snow. Yeah, no Merry Christmas video. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still a video that I plan on making. It just won't be seasonal. It'll just be a little late. It'll still be a winter video. So auto replies to my email. Oh my God, I never remember to do that. That would have been a fair thing to do. But like, it's okay. Like again, like people like me forget all the time to do that. So you definitely wouldn't have been alone. I have also played hooky on Monday. <laughs> Basically ghosted and I feel awful, but well, did you you did you like tell your supervisor you were taking the day off because then at that point It's not your job to like let everybody else know Yeah, no, no worries and my thinking is also is like if you're sick people should be expecting you to not reply anyways because you're sick No, it's total. Oh my god. No, it's totally fine. It's totally fine <laughs> Oh, my supervisors are on vacation. Oh, oh, see, that gets just really complicated. That's just like a soupy situation. So yeah, no one's at fault. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh my God, it's a mermaid. I love mermaids. Oh, and they're gonna tetra. Yeah, okay. I did send messages to multiple people saying I couldn't get into the robot. Okay, yeah. You tried. You tried and that's what counts. <laughs> IT problems. I'm out of here. Yeah, I was never set up with like remote desktoping anything. Which I'm kinda glad about because like it feels like a stressful thing. Ichiko! Oh my god, they avoided the attack. Absolute star right here. I'm not even gonna have to tetra it. Man, beautiful. 10 out of 10 Pokemon experience. Do I have any of this tea left? A little bit. Do you think if I eat the lemons, it'll be good for me? I feel like that would probably taste bad, but... Oh, she's so pretty. I like the side bun. If it didn't mean I would have to bleach my hair, I would love for my hair to be that color purple. Also, I realize my hair is growing out so much. It's so weird to see. Like so much of my natural hair color again. Hello, BG, welcome in. You know what I'm gonna say? Don't do it, it's not worth it. <laughs> oh, bleaching my hair again? <laughs> uh, I won't, I'm committing to not spending as much money on my hair anymore. <laughs> like, that's like 50% of it coming down to it. Like, it was like, expensive to maintain. Oh my God, I love them. Oh, so cute. No eating the lemon. Oh, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Enjoy the lemon. With six gym badges, Pokemon up to level 50 will be easier to catch. Okay, I need to get my team up to level 50. We're slacking here. I got a weak team. Don't go uploading that selfie. We just took to social media, okay? Man, I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating. Aww. I feel, I, know, I feel, oh man, it would suck to be like a, like a beauty influencer where your looks matter so much. So if you have like an off day and someone takes a photo of you that that like matters, that would suck. Can't decide if I want ice cream or hot chocolate. Part of me is like both, but I don't know how like, <laughs> I got my, in my mind I'm combining them and I don't think that actually works out that well. Because <laughs> then it's just like lukewarm 
melted ice cream. <laughs> Greetings once more, Mary. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, good star, extra credit even. <laughs> I, I definitely launched into a strategy. Caught wearing the same top twice. End of your career. Exactly. Exactly. I used to be quite stressed about that for YouTube videos. I do honestly try and avoid wearing the same top twice for YouTube videos, which is kind of bad. But to be fair, I also do have like <laughs> a good number of clothing. Ah, hot chocolate in the ice cream. Hot chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Reminds me that I have frozen chocolate covered strawberries, bananas. <gasps> King, are those from... Uh, Trader Joe's, because Trader Joe's sells those, and I love them. I love chocolate-covered bananas. All right, this is my biggest fan. His name is a hassle. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Trader Joe's. God, they're so good. I need to go to Trader Joe's. I need to get some. Once, like, holiday season is over, I'm going to do some big grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. Uh, I don't want to do studying. <laughs> I don't want to learn, you nerd. I'm not here to go to school. I'm here to win. Huh? Okay. Now we're going to go do the two other titans. So then I'll have all of my abilities for my... Uh... <gasps> wait, 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 they're here too. I vote hot chocolate if you're taking a poll. Team Coco. Okay, uh, left or right? Uh, I feel like I should go to this side first, but I'd prefer to go here. <laughs> How do I, oh, can I not set up a marker? Wait, why isn't it letting, oh, I can. I'm just being silly. Just being a little silly, a little bit. I think I vote ice cream, just because that sounds very nice, and ice cream, when you have a sore throat, is such a good time. I ate so much ice cream last night. I caught, like, oh my god, it's so good. It's cookies and cream ice cream that has, like, swirls of fudge in it. A delight. Like, so delicious. Okay, maybe they're actually this way. Or maybe I'll go up this way. Tying them, oh sorry, have hot chocolate. Have whatever, I don't know, are you cold or are you warm? Are you cold or warm? Cause then eat, eat the, the correct one depending on your feelings at the time. <laughs> I didn't mean it, mean it. Ooh, let's go do this raid. And this time I will pay attention to the type. It looks like it's dark. So I should do Uh, what would it be good? <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> Flying? Dragon against Dark? That seems fine. Is I breaking this stream about me? Oh my god, no, it is allowed. <laughs> that is okay. So it's actually, um, cause you know, it, it, Snuggly, you're not streaming for the rest of the year, so you gotta like, um, do you know, be a part of other streams. Where is Muska? He's just like happily asleep in his closet. And I was sad because I wanted to hang out with me. Wow, look at us go. What a team. <gasps> I like it. It looks weird. Seto dial. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, wow. Five for hot chocolate. Now it's got six. It you're having hot chocolate, unless you want to use the pool to choose what you're not gonna do. Oh man, wing attack was not the move, apparently. Okay, everybody else, go do some damage. Let's fight. Ooh, since I missed the snuggly scream, <laughs> this is the merry snuggly code. Yeah, someone's spending all their music money. Ah! Oh! I see. I see. Um, yeah, I'm sad we didn't end up doing an actual co-stream when Snuggly was visiting. I just ended up not feeling great on that day, which is a bummer. Which was a bummer. One day. Yeah, I hope I hope so. We need to play. We were going to be playing the Barbie Detective for the PlayStation 1, which felt very on brand for both of us. Um, 
because we've been able to have like somewhat coordinated sweaters. This pulls a roller coaster. What is happening? <laughs> what are you all doing? <laughs> oh, it's a good use of your points, though. <laughs> I wonder who at the end will have put in the most points. People are very invested. I, they are. You've created this today. You've come into the stream environment today to cause chaos. Oh, my back hurts. I'm gonna need to do more stretching tonight. I'm gonna have to put on a good old yoga with Adrian video and stretch my back. <laughs> also, my neck. My neck and my back. Nothing else. All right, don't die. Civil War. Forget the Marvel Civil War. Forget the US Civil War. <laughs> the true battle. <laughs> Mom loves yoga with Adrian. She's so great. She's a very like, I don't know, cozy individual. Ah, Magamma contributed 201 points. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, go have ice cream. Delicious. It's a frozen day. Go have some delicious ice cream. I'm already playing Street Fighter, so I'm gonna buy the action food. <laughs> Oh, I want to play Soul Calibur. See, the only reason for me to get a PlayStation 4 would be to get Soul Calibur. Seven? Six? I don't think I... Yeah, no, I don't have six. I have four and five. Um, but I bet the community's kind of dead for it. Have they announced a new Soul Calibur for, like, the PlayStation 5 so I can just buy a PlayStation 5 for that? I want to be good at Soul Calibur so bad. Oh my god, I love them. They're so goofy. Look at their tooth. What? Chomper. Oh. I wonder if there's servers up still for Soul Calibur 4. Maybe I should just get really good at <laughs> a solid mid number Soul Calibur. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I didn't catch it yet. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Fighting games are fun. I, well, I like the customization aspect. There's one on Steam. Oh wait, there's one on Steam. I could just get that. Soul Calibur 2 was the one for me. Uh, I really, I, well, 2 doesn't have my favorite character in it because Tira doesn't come until the third game. And like, had the one with the link on the GameCube. That was the third one. That was the third one, I believe. Um, was it the, I think that was the third one. I also, maybe I should buy that. I wonder how expensive that would be. I wish, um, the, GameCube games weren't so expensive. Nope. Oh, fuck, I'm wrong. You come in here noping like you're a cowboy in Nancy Drew Secret of Shadow Ranch. <laughs> yeah, the next one had Yoda and uh, Darth Vader, which is like so funny. Oh, God. There's a lot of saliva that just came out of my mouth. Ugh. Disgusting. Nope. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> diamond. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> I can't, can't believe you're coming in here noping like that. I need to play another horse game sometime soon. Speaking of horses, um, I really wanted to, like, on my, like, mental list of, like, in-depth videos I would like to make, I would really like to make a video <laughs> about horse games, because that is, like, that is a big genre of games. There are so many horse games. <laughs> oh my god, the snow! Well, I've played one Barbie horse adventures game, but I need to play the other ones. Um, but yeah, I, I want to, like, research the history of the horse game, because, like, why are there so many? Why are horse girls gamer girls? <laughs> Make a commercial for the GameCube. <laughs> Do you have... Oh my god, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Do you have too much free time and money and you want to try and obtain a product that originally sold in, I don't know, 2000? When did the GameCube come out? I can't even remember. Snow time. It did it not work. Synesthesia. I 
I should just use my Pokemon to get it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have the technology. Oh, I might not have the stuff on my, um, it might not be on my, uh, my thing. 2000, 2001. Okay. That's what I was thinking. The year was 2000. It was a different time in the world of gaming. Honestly, the GameCube is like the best. Um, what a good console for so many reasons. First of all, graphics, delightful. Like, I feel like the graphics are so much better than the Nintendo 64, like so good. Controller, delightfully comfortable. That is a well-designed controller. I feel like, because Xbox controllers are too big. PlayStation's fine, but GameCube controllers, man, that's the feeling of nostalgia. Um, it's a cube. It has a handle. Portability, 10 out of 10. Oh, 70, okay, I need to look it up. Looked up, it was 2002. Oh, PlayStation 2 had a Hachi for Soul Calibur 3. Oh, the old Tekken man. Cube is the strongest shape. <laughs> Xbox controllers are perfect. No, they're too big. They're too big. They're for big hand people. PlayStation controllers are very comfortable in my opinion. <laughs> So, Chloe, did you have an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3? <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Oh my god, are we gonna have our own personal console wars? PlayStation 2 controllers are too tiny now. Oh, I've never actually... Oh no, I've used a PlayStation 4 controller. Man, I lie about that all the time. I just forget it. North America, November 18th, 2001. Ah! Xbox One controller has black and white button. What? <laughs> I have an Xbox One controller. Where did I put it? Wait, where did I put my... It's my Fortnite controller. My, my Minecraft Fortnite controller. <laughs> I don't care about the consoles. Really, I always felt like these were way too big. I, I have this one because it connects well with my computer for Fortnite though. <laughs> and it was pink. <laughs> 360 is probably your favorite controller. Oh. Cute. Yeah, isn't it adorable, Lemon? It's a little Minecraft pig one. I got it on like a discount too, which was fantastic. So, it's good. Run, please. Streamer lies about what controllers they have and have not used. I know, it's cruel, because I always forget that Callie had a PlayStation 4, so I actually like used a PlayStation 4 a fair amount. I, well, yeah, I haven't actually played a PlayStation 5 at all yet. <laughs> Everyone is attacking me personally by saying the Xbox controllers are right No, Chloe, it's that my hands, I don't like the fit of them in my hands. They don't, they don't, they don't feel like the controllers I grew up with. Thus, just like, oh, this isn't what I want. Oh my God. I just want to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> Cause I guess the worst controllers, big fan of the pro control. I want to try a pro controller. Oh, I meant to say, so I do have, I added things to my throne. Um, no pressure, but one of them is like, <laughs> oh, I had to shout it apparently. Um, <laughs> My weird, hands. my weird hands, okay? <laughs> Got weird hands. <laughs> oh, Chloe, no. Oh, he's being so mean. <laughs> um, I, I do have on my throne one of the like fundraising things for a wireless switch controller. So, anyone is interested in engaging with that, you are very welcome to. But you're also, you don't have to. That, thus, that is the 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 miracle of of things is you don't if you don't want to let's do a picnic nobody's more relentless than a good friend <laughs> told you i'm here to be mean and say nice things about you behind your back okay i guess that's fine <laughs> weird hands i just got little little pinkies compared to the rest of my fingers they make me upset i wish they weren't i guess it would look weird if they were like too much longer but i just hate my Pinkies. They've been too short for many things in my life. All right, let's make another sandwich. 
I might just do a normal sandwich this time. Um, no, I'll do a fun one. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, prosciutto sandwich <laughs> with the cheese. That sounds delicious. It's sandwich time. Meat and cheese and olive oil. <laughs> Oily. <laughs> I don't like oily sandwich. Ketchup and mayo. I'd eat this. It's like a hot dog. It's like a burger. It's like a, what's the, what is the sandwich fast food place? Arby's. It's like Arby's. The first Mary's game play we will play game make random sandwich play more game. You know, one day I'll actually pay it. Like, I don't have any specific need for the sandwiches right now other than fun. QB mayo. Yeah. This is basically my life sound. Oh, Subway. Subway sounds good. Oh man, I want a toasted sub. That would be delicious. I like getting the, the BMTs. Lots of meat. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. All right, delicioso. Enjoy, Munchlax. I made this for you. <laughs> Do I need it? Yeah. <laughs> I want him to eat it. <laughs> Love when my cheese clips in my meat just right. Unless <laughs> I live in, it's perfect. Don't worry about it. Wait, was it not good? Wait, what did that mean? How is that not good? It was literally meat and cheese. <laughs> How would you not enjoy that? <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> Best ones so far on stream. Some of the ones they've made in lemon streams have been very chaotic. All right, everybody's healed up. We're ready to rumble. Delightful. What a squad. All right, let's continue on my way, on my way. Yeah, I feel like it was fine. I don't, I didn't get why it did like the staticky thing. Katie Firestone would <laughs> disagree. Well, you know, some people don't like expired mayonnaise for some reason in their sandwiches. Also because my sister's name is Katie, seeing that in the chat, I was like, Katie? <laughs> yes? <laughs> My sister? I sent her my latest video, but I don't think she watched it. I also emailed it to my dad, but he didn't reply. Which makes me nervous. Is my dad mad at me? He isn't. That's the anxiety talking. <laughs> Head always goes down. Then you throw it back depending on the strongest flavor. Oh, sweet, sour, bitter, spicy. <laughs> or the other one. Uh, umami? Would I, would the, do they have umami in this? MSG flavor? God, I love MSG. It's probably like, damn, I wish I could make a video this good. You know, I hope that that would be his reaction. I also, though, was really scared. I was like, I hope he doesn't watch my other most recent video about um, girls not wearing pants. Because that would be kind of a weird conversation, hypothetically. Or not. I mean, I am arguing that they need to wear pants, but it's... <laughs> Father is secretly a YouTuber. <laughs> I did learn recently that he had been making comics for his co-workers using PowerPoint, which is very cute. Salty! Sorry, carry on. <laughs> oh, salty is the other flavor, I see. It's relatable. I never wear pants. Yeah, um, all I was saying was girls that use guns should wear pants, which I feel like reasonable argument. People on Reddit didn't agree with me. I don't always try and post my videos on Reddit because it is a very like, eh, hey, look at me sort of situation. I know Reddit hates that, but like I, that was one where I did not, I didn't get like super negative responses, but I definitely had people like, oh, <laughs> people on Reddit are wrong. It's like, that's fair. I do enjoy the Nancy Drew subreddit. Sometimes they're also wrong though. Woo! Boo you're pretty. 
Tea Free Army <laughs> looks so soft. What's everybody's favorite subreddit? I used to use the Taylor Swift one a lot, and then I realized they were like too slow for me. They're too slow on updating stuff. Like, I'm so sad that Twitter is like doing whatever's happening on Twitter, because Twitter's the quickest way to get. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say Nancy Drew, Taylor Swift news. Oh, the Twin Peaks subreddit. That would be a fun one to look through. Once I um, research more into Twin Peaks and I watch more of it, I feel like it'd be fun to check out that subreddit just to see like what people create. Because the Nancy Drew subreddit is great for like what people create. Moldy, moldly interesting? What is that? Why is it moldly? That makes me really scared. Is it mold pictures? I hate mold. <laughs> R slash birds with arms, yes. I like the idea. <laughs> Buff birds. They're good molds. Is it like, like molded, like plastic mold sort of thing? Research! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sounds tasty like blue cheese. No, I don't want old pictures. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I need to finish watching Twin Peaks. But like, oh god, I've been there for so long. We're trying so hard to grow and devour your rotten spaghetti that you left in the pan too. Oh my god, no. Oh, I was gonna complain about a past roommate again leaving spaghetti in my pants. But. Place for all mold lovers to post interesting stuff about mold, whether it's facts about mold, texts about mold experiences, mold questions, or pictures of amazing mold. We also, okay, I, I appreciate like the help with removal and stuff like that. That's very reasonable. I've told you guys once, oh my God, it was in the house that I was living in with the opera singing roommate that our bathroom like grew a mushroom in it underneath the sink because the wood underneath the sink was rotting so i like looked down one day and there was like a mushroom growing and i was like this is bad and me texting our uh landlord a photo like what do i do <laughs> like spray vinegar everywhere <laughs> so gross <laughs> yeah free food r slash carpets for airports <laughs> airport carpets a specific vibe Man, I want to go to an airport sometime soon. I haven't flown on a plane. Well, I guess I flew on a plane a couple months ago in the summer at some point. Yeah. But I want to go again. I want to fly. I like airports. They're like stressful in a fun way. I feel like it helps that I'm usually very organized. <laughs> Living in the 90s Super Mario Bros. movie. Does that happen in it? Ugh, dreadful. Offerman's secret stash. Oh, you know, it wouldn't put a pat. Well, hmm. I have nothing against people that consume shrooms, but. <laughs> Ugh, that guy. <laughs> Spoilers. Nancy, you have to pack. Oh, yeah, for your flight. Oh my god, pack warm stuff. It's looking very cold there. Very snowy. Snowy Chloe. <laughs> Snowers, Chloers. <laughs> People who consume shrooms are just like everyone else. Okay, no, it's a specific genre of human. <laughs> I have never consumed a single mushroom in my life. All right, I think I should honestly just fly down and then go north. I think that'll be my plan. I'll be terrifying sometimes? Oh, no, I can't. I can't. Too scary. Fly like an eagle. Is this gonna break the game? <laughs> Me going down this way? <laughs> I guess I can go. Oh. Gravity's, uh... Oh, God, gravity's suddenly working very fast. Oh, and I can't fly anymore. Oh, God, that was a choice. No! No! Okay. <laughs> Like mildly interesting, but straight up terrifying. No, that sounds awful. Well, let's go. Let's kill some creatures around here. Just rolled into the shop is another good one. It's the worst mechanical things you can imagine. <gasps> Look at this creature. Sorry, I keep gasping dramatically at things that are just normal Pokemon. I just get very excited. Who is that running behind them? With the what is? What are you? Oh, it's so weird. I like it. <laughs> a little tail. Deep into YouTube was a fun one. 
Is that like random deep corners of the of the YouTubes? Not not Tim. Oh, not Tim and Eric. <laughs> that took me so long to read. Oh, Tim and Eric is such a trip. I feel like I can't be sober watching Tim and Eric because it, no, not Tim and Eric. Um, the Eric Andre show, different shows. Tim and Eric, I only have watched very specific clips from um, and enjoy. The Eric Andre show, I can't be sober watching that. It's so stressful. The videos have to be sub 100 and the older the better. I love that. There's so many videos on YouTube, like in so many different little corners of like random things. What is Tim and Eric? Tim and Eric was like a clip show that was on, oh my God, one of like the later night. Oh, Adult Swim. Yeah, and okay, Um, what is one of the, what is one of the, like, uh, oh, it's free real estate. It's free real estate is from that, which is really good. It's free real estate. Um, The, oh, the computer salary man. Salary man's really funny in my opinion. Those are like my two favorite Tim and Eric ones, I would say. Wait, was it Cartoon Network that had Adult Swim on it? I don't remember how this works. I went to Oddly Terrifying and the first image I saw was a teddy bear with shrooms growing on it. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, Tim or Eric, you can only have one. <laughs> we have to sacrifice the other. Um, I feel like there was one more Tim and Eric sketch that I liked, but I can't think of it. Um... Yeah, I haven't seen much of those. Tom Tom goes to the Mayo. Cartoon Network runs Adult Swim. Yeah, okay. It ran with like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, I didn't watch much Adult Swim. I do know the, oh my God, do any of you know about like unedited footage of a bear? Did any of you also go through like an, a, a period where you were like very invested in like unsettling media <laughs> kind of vibes? Or I guess like ARG things. Um, crunch. That's replaced by it with crunch. Um, Cause there is a YouTuber like Nightmind Masterclass that covered in depth um, unedited footage of a bear. And what was the other one? This house has people in it. I had nightmares about this house has people in it. Yeah, Megama, I had fucking nightmares about that. I found it so unsettling. I couldn't even, I couldn't even watch the actual this house has people in it. I literally just watched someone's like, coverage of it nightmare masterclass did coverage of it and it it's just so unsettling it's so off-putting i need to go back and watch those again though those are really good videos um yeah like oh my god Ew. it's so weird i didn't see no i was too afraid to because that all came out when i was in high school still um the the video i watched did cover the website quite in depth as well though um yeah, it's by it's by the same people as Too Many Cooks, actually. Yeah, it's well, it's less like I don't know, obvious about like Don't Me Hug Me I Scared. I feel like it's very much made to be like, um, oh my god, how do I describe it? Like much more like media that's like developed purposefully to be, um. Hmm. I don't know how to describe the difference. They feel like very different things though, if that makes sense. Like, like uh, this house has people in it f is supposed to feel more like, um, you're like watching things play out in real time, I guess. Whereas like, don't hug me, I'm scared is more like a, you know, like a show, if that, if that makes sense. Um. Oh, I should, well, okay, maybe, I don't know, I, cause I get like, I have like, I go back and forth on if I like stuff like that, you know? Like sometimes I'm like really into off-putting media and unsettling stuff. And then sometimes it is like too unsettling for me. But I think I should go back and watch some of the videos about those that I really liked because they're just really well made. And I love deep dives into stuff, especially like stuff that I find too unsettling to watch myself. Don't hug me, scares the dickens out of me. Yeah, I feel like you also might not enjoy um, this house's people in it. Because, 
Yeah, there's a trash eating Sonic Easter egg. Yep, yeah, and that thing freaked me out. That thing freaked me out. All of that. He eats clay in the trash, those spill. Like, all the people eat clay. It's very strange. It's like, oh god. They just do such a good job of making unsettling things. Watching the analysis is the best thing to continue. I know exactly. Like, sometimes I just like other people. Because at the same time, I like rarely watch things with like a super critical eye. So it is kind of fun to watch something where someone has had like a super critical eye for it and they are like looking into the references the media makes and stuff that like I wouldn't be able to pick up on because I just like don't know the references. Pet scoff! Oh, I loved pet scoff too. Man, that was like a, a thing to follow. The clay poetry video. I don't I don't even know. <laughs> so I like don't want to see it, I guess. <laughs> Wonder Shoujin. I don't think I have. Um, I loved following Petscop. If you don't know, Petscop was another, like, kind of ARG experience where it was a bunch of videos about a, uh, like, lost PlayStation game? Like, PlayStation 1 game? It was really interesting. I really love watching things with people where we can pause and talk about it. Oh my gosh, yes! Yeah, that's like, oh my god. I want to get to have that experience more. Like, I loved, me and Chloe got to watch the Jenny Nicholson video about um, church plays, which was just like such a fun experience, uh, getting to watch that with another human. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like that sort of, that sort of thing also is like really fun to watch with friends. <laughs> God, there's just so much cool media out there, isn't there? There's just so much stuff to watch. Oh, I don't want to jump that way. And oh, I could. It wouldn't really matter. It is such a good video. I haven't rewatched it yet. I'm like, I'm, I'm giving it a little. I'm like, <laughs> gotta give it a little time to forget enough. <laughs> like I was recently <laughs> watching her Vampire Diaries video again, and I realized I like knew too much of what was gonna happen. I was like, oh, I gotta like not watch this for a while because I. I know it's gonna happen, but I'm happy that I re-remembered Nightmare Masterclass because now I want to go back and rewatch all of those and I feel like that will be good, like doing chores stuff to have playing in the background because it's nice with those because I'm very much like, if I'm scared, I want to look away. So it's good to have like a cleaning things to, you know, to do to focus on if something's kind of like scary. My favorite video of all time is one of the puppets from Wonder Shows and just trying to interview this extremely angry guy who keeps walking towards their camera as if he's trying to walk away. You're magnetically attracted to this very camera you're trying to repel with your words. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I love I love a three hour deep dive. Church Play one is so good. I still haven't watched her most recent one. Yes, I really liked her most recent one. I also haven't rewatched that, but it has a Taylor Swift mention. So, you know, I had to enjoy that <laughs> that whole situation is wild also it kind of sucks because i knew about evermore park like far before she ever made the video about it um because another youtuber i follow did a video on it um like about going to it and i thought it was really cool and i really wanted it to succeed and go so the fact that it <laughs> is just not a good time is quite sad because yeah i really wanted it to be be like a fun thing. I was like, man, that could actually like get me to go back to Utah, the state that I have a personal grudge against because I almost died there. Danny, oh my God, hello. No worries. I hope that the painting goes super well. Thank you for the lurk and I hope that you're doing well. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> The jokes never end, ladies and gentlemen. Where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> Mary fights all of Utah. One day. Just like the river there. It's really the river's fault. It's why you don't fuck with nature. Take five seconds. Utah's done for. Thank you, Damon, for believing in my ultimate strength and power. <laughs> Take me versus all the Mormons. They don't drink caffeine. I feel like they, that makes them like scary. Strong. Actually, it's so crazy to see like soda culture because they do drink caffeine, um, but it's only in soda. Like they won't drink coffee or tea. Like what? Take their fry sauce and soda drive through Spike Force. Exactly. Well, I want to I know more about their fry sauce. Is it good? 
I could I could go for fry sauce. And I also want to try their soda drive throughs Like they're wild, the stuff that they like add to soda, like adding creamer to soda. I guess I technically have had cream in soda as well because that's uh, Italian soda here. Ketchup and mayo. Oh, I eat that all the time. That is that is very good. <laughs> Biggest live stream event since Germa's dollhouse. That's so wild. I like forget that German did that. Yeah, I really want to try one too. See, okay. If everyone gets their act together, <laughs> I want to go to Utah to have soda <laughs> and go to Evermore. <laughs> That's the only reasons I'd go. And I'm never going on a fucking river there again. <laughs> Devastating blow. <laughs> oh, that fry sauce sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, on honestly, food does kind of like resolve most feuds in my heart. Also, food makes most feud. Like, if I'm hungry, I'm all the more likely to get in a fight with a state. It's how most of my state fights have gone. Also, like, part of my... Well, I want to go to Evermore if they, like, make it better. I spam free videos on a channel from our Alan Resnick. Goodness! Oh, thank you. Wait, I want to see what channel, if I know them. Because I know the, the, um, the, uh, Ellen tutorials, yeah. Oh, you're just doing, like, the actual clips. Okay, oh my god, bold of you. I'm too scared, it's too unsettling. Fortnite stream? I don't know, do you want to play Fortnite sometime, Chloe? <laughs> we were talking about Utah a lot in the improv the last week, because one of the suggestions was Salt Lake City, the big old city of Salt Lake. If you can make a four-hour video about it, then it must be good. It's all too scary. <laughs> Maybe. I would be down to stream Fortnite. Oh, I was gonna I was saying earlier I wanna stream um Nancy Drew Sea of Darkness sometime. I was thinking next week. That could be my like Christmassy, Christmas Christmas adjacent stream. Even though I guess that would be more this week, because well Christmas is on the weekend. Um Yeah, get in some Nancy Drew in. Especially because I really, <coughs> really want to play Sea of Darkness. Can I leave from here? Is this a way I can go? Can I escape this place? Ooh, wait, that was one of the things. I wonder if my brush just died accidentally swipes for us. <laughs> Tire hit. Oh no! <laughs> At least you didn't drink the the cleaning water. Ominous black steak. Let's pull that steak, baby. I still don't know why I'm doing these, but it seems like the right thing to do. What's my goal right now? Oh, so right now I'm heading north on the map to do um, the last two titans in the game. So I'm just kind of like, you know, life is a highway in it. Just, just road tripping. This might be a mistake. <laughs> uh, but, uh, life. Oh, a water stone. Heck yeah. Someone's gonna make a Vaporeon once they catch an Eevee. Um, life is a highway, and I want to ride it all night long. Can I have this, please? So, it's fine. Check my life by the principles of Rascal Flats all the time. Can I get where I want to be? I gotta look at the map. Can I land, please? I'm gonna look at the map. Like, how do I get over here? From here? Oh, Aw, Chloe, I'm sorry. I would argue that all of us should just not work tomorrow, but I don't have that authority yet. <laughs> I like to avoid highways. I'm like, yeah, but no. But it's your life. You must accept it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I was like, did I not complete this already? I used to say if life was a highway, then we'd all be run over. Oh, I thought it was so clever. 
we were all young. I have the day off to tomorrow. I decree no one for anyone. Quit your job and play TF2. Man, like, when is our content creator no job life gonna begin, Chloe? You just. We deserve it. <laughs> Everybody subscribe to Chloe on YouTube so she can get that sweet, sweet ad revenue. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Making fun of myself. Um, as one does. I like the random vending machine they have in their fort. Like, they've got a good amount of infrastructure here, all things considered. Someone's coming and filling that vending machine. Give me one billion subscribers on YouTube. Merry Christmas. I bought you subs. Here you go. Look, okay, I try on Tumblr. I post so much Nancy, or I was for a while. To be fair, I haven't done it in a bit, but I was posting a lot of Nancy Drew content, basically being like, hey, you want to know more about Nancy Drew? Oh, you can just follow Snuggly on Twitch.tv and you'll learn so much more. I'm just going to fly over here. Why am I wasting time? <laughs> buy one billion subs <laughs> oh god it's too late i bought five billion subs Ooh. oh an app has released oh dear santa what i want for christmas is one million youtube subs i feel like that'd be too many people i don't want that many <laughs> some people could go Honestly, though, even with my subs, so many of the people don't, like, consistently watch what I post that it's like, it's like I don't, you know, so I don't have that many. It's like I have ten people I'm running to Xmas Shrock. Santa Shrock, Santa Shrock, just hurry down my chimney tonight. How does that song go? Santa dun, 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 dun. Santa Shrock, I wanna something under the tree for me. I've been an awfully good girl. <laughs> Santa Shrock, just hurry down the Shrock me. Shrock tonight. <laughs> Reminds me of the giant sub Homer Simpson was eating, but it started growing mushrooms on it by the end. So much mushroom growing in the brain. No. <laughs> I think I'll Facebook message X Mishrak. Yeah, do they have a Twitter? Um, here comes X Mishrak. Here comes X Mishrak right down X Mishrak lane. We gotta get the. Wow, I feel like that's aging myself actively if I whip and Nene. <laughs> Oh, I want to keep watching The Simpsons as well. I haven't watched The Simpsons in forever. I was like watching all of it. It was my goal to watch all of it. And then I didn't. Because I'm a liar. I make these goals for myself. I f try and follow my dreams. Watching The Simpsons. <laughs> and it's such a good show. Like, it's so funny. I don't know why. I... Oh, it's on Disney Plus. <gasps> oh, but you know what's annoying is the TV I have doesn't connect to Disney Plus. Which is really frustrating. I think this problem would be resolved if I finally just got a Chromecast. Sean, it is a big commitment. Also, hello, Sean, how are you? It's not Christmas season until the VLC icon is <laughs> a Santa hat. <laughs> uh, it is so many episodes. See, I started on season four, because I was like, I feel like season four is, is quite good. And then I can end whenever I want, you know, but apparently I ended at like season five, which, it <laughs> wasn't the plan. <laughs> the first nine season should be required, gang. Yeah, I was- see- Just <laughs> get it started season four. Watch till I didn't like it anymore and then go to the start. That's what I did with Daria as well. I watched seasons two through four or however many they had. And then I went back and watched the first one because I'm always iffy about the first seasons of shows. <gasps> Tings and friends! Hello everyone, welcome in! Tings, how are you? Oh my god, now is Truffle? Uh, <laughs> hi friends, and hello Juju! Hello Hillian and Ari! Oh my gosh, hi friends! 
science doll. Uh, welcome in everybody. Hello, my name is Mary and I'm a variety streamer. Right now I'm playing Pokemon Violet for the first time. Or Taikurai as well and Lights Out. Um, but I also love like point and click adventure games and other like old goofy games. Yeah, oh my gosh. So if anybody hasn't already, please follow Twinks. Were you playing Valorant? Okay, how do you like Valorant? Because I tried to install it and play it and couldn't get it to work so I gave up. But I would probably be like pretty easily convinced, honestly, to try again. <laughs> also, Tinks, if you need to go like take care of yourself, get water, get food, do whatever you need to do, I completely understand. Please do. And science, science D, science D. Thank you so much for the fall. If you want to play a T, okay, that could be really fun. I'm really bad, but I love playing. That's how I am with Fortnite. I really love Fortnite right now. <laughs> the Fortnite's about. Wait, Tinks, were you playing Fortnite too? I'll play Fortnite sometime. <laughs> yeah, that would be super fun. Yeah, I was having some issues with like computer settings not wanting to run with it, which is very strange. No, would you consider Fortnite? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, Fortnite's super fun. And just saying, Lemon at some point needs to play Fortnite. So that could be like a fun group activity, <laughs> group experience of playing Fortnite. Yeah, it was the anti-cheat stuff. It was that, which for some reason my computer was like, no, we're gonna cheat. You know, you know me. I like cheating on games. <laughs> Fortnite 2, the sh squeak wool. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Also, Tings, if you need to go like get water, or take care of yourself, do all those fun post-stream activities, please feel free to. And thank you so much for sharing your community here with me today. Also, I want to say I'm so sorry if I am very, like, head empty today. I am recovering from COVID, so I've definitely had a few, like, COVID brain moments of just <laughs> not paying attention to things. Oh, and if anybody's curious about where I'm at right now with the game, I'm still just playing through it for the first time. And I have two Titans to go and a couple of other friends. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thankfully it's it's I feel like it's been better <laughs> this time than the first time I had it Which like sucks to say that I've had it twice now. I do think um, the vaccines helped quite a bit But yeah, just like a lot of sleeping <laughs> a lot of sleeping for me Yeah, Pokemon will make the COVID go away exactly and yeah, it's been like I don't know It's been really nice streaming again because I couldn't uh, last week COVID kicked my butt too. Yeah, oh, Juju. Also, Juju, do you have snow up there right now? Or does anybody else have snow? Any of our like East Coast friends or anything? Because it's been snowing here, which feels so weird. It feels very early for um, to have snow in Seattle. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this is how much I have left to do. All the ones that don't get the numbers on them. <laughs> NMD is my thing, yes. I, I, you know, I like to keep things nice and clear up here so we have lots of room for activities. Don't want to like you know, get get too stuffy or anything. So much snow, oh, I love it, oh lovely. I'm glad you enjoy it. I guess like, depending on where you live, you're probably more uh, equipped for it. Cause when I have snow, I'm like, I can't drive. I don't know how to get places. <laughs> no snow in Ingerland yet at least, or at least where you are, maybe North with the, with the Northerners have it. My cat sleeping on a blanket on my couch looked like a person. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. Speaking of a cat, the exact cat I want to catch. I am trying to do a full Dex, like, or like as organically as I can as I, you know, travel through the lands here. It's supposed to snowstorm here in the coming days, but no active snow at the moment. Scary. I hope that everybody is like very prepared. Get your canned soups and bread. <laughs> very used to it, definitely cautious, always. Very, yeah, yeah, because you, you probably like know how to handle it so much better. I feel like also when it happens here, there's like the human element of us being like, Ugh. <laughs> snow? <laughs> Ooh, that's not overcast rain. <laughs> and then we all cry. Okay, I want something that's actually not that effective. I guess, yeah, but not out. No snow in my area, but it'll be like low 30s. Ooh, Chicago's usually prepared. Closest to a white Christmas. Oh, see, the white Christmas is quite fun. Cause Sean, you're in Texas, right? So I imagine it doesn't snow too often there. Um, but yeah, I imagine Chicago being very prepared. Cause I even, I remember I went and visited Chicago for a spring break, I think, and it was snowing. Oh, something like that, maybe not. I definitely went there when it was snowing, though. I didn't mean to kill you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to murder you. I just wanted to catch a cat. 
those of you joining in, have any of you also been playing and enjoying some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? The delightfully crunchy experience. <laughs> we don't get warm until at least May. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so probably, I probably did experience some like <laughs> spring break snow up there. I remember really enjoying it though, but I mostly went so I could see Wait Wait Don't Tell Me recorded live. That was a very exciting high school. <laughs> Love this game. Oh, what's your favorite part so far? Have you been shiny hunting too? I want to do some shiny hunting eventually. Once I finish in seven years. <laughs> Bro, I'm so slow. Sucks because spring is my favorite season in Chicago is one place where it's practically non-existent. No, I've heard about Chicago that y'all get very uh, well decorated for Christmas. Is that the case? Topus is your favorite Pokemon, or Tropius. Wait, what is it? What is it? What is it? I need to look at it. I'm so bad. I'm such a fake fan. I'm like, I don't know what any Pokemon looks like from its name. It's just like real people, IRL. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, okay, the big plant. Da da da. Da da da. <laughs> Fellow Walt. Wait, wait, fan? Yeah, I used to love Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. I haven't listened to it in a really long time, but I did get to see a live recording and it was so fun. It was such a fun experience to see. Oh yeah, I saw your shiny Umbreon on Twitter, I think. Um, that's so exciting, congrats. That's so cute. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> yes, the palm tree in the back, <laughs> shame. <laughs> Oh wait, Hungry got a shiny of it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm still so sad I've killed my only shiny. It's the best way to explain it. He is kind of a big tree, a tree dinosaur. Oh, a wild one. That's so fun. I have, it has, oh God. <laughs> this poor game. It has been really fun seeing everybody's shiny catches. Persian, I want, uh, I wonder if shiny Persian is green. I feel like it might be. Fun learning lots in the new game, yeah! Oh my god, I've been enjoying it. Uh, enjoying it, and just enjoying seeing other people so like hyped up and having a good time. Cause I was, you know, obviously it's got its flaws, but it's been really fun to see so many people enjoying it. It's two Pokemon that were fighting in the background. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm too busy trying to read. Oh my god, you're a delight. Oh, I already caught you. This was one of the raid Pokemon I had. Oh my god, it's so goofy. Peak design. Oh god, <laughs> don't run at me actually. Uh, okay, should I go through the tunnel or go, oh, maybe over the hills. Hypervigilance doing me some favors. Oh, we have one eye open on the Pokemon. You can never be too careful. Never know when someone will strike. Or they'll just be like a shiny hanging out. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, what is it? It starts with a G, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, Axel, have a good lurk. Oh, I hope packing goes smoothly. Man, I'm so bad at packing. <laughs> I feel like it was something I used to be so good at, but now I always like overpack for stuff or like underpack or I'll get somewhere and I've forgotten like very helpful things to have. Like, oh, no toothpaste. That's <laughs> inconvenient. <laughs> Hello, host. <laughs> Can I have a toothpaste? <laughs> This was one of your black and white favorites. Ah, I like them. They're so cute. I like their little like uh, little teeth, horns. No, what is the term? Tusks. Tusks. The technical term. I wonder how like zoologists feel when playing Pokemon, or people that like know a lot about animal anatomy. Does that change your experience? Does it make it better? <laughs> Any animal anatomy studiers? Let me know. <laughs> Oh, he's so funny. Man, oh God, it's just so sad. How many, I wanna see how many things I have in my Pokédex. How do I see my Pokédex? Oh God, Ugh, must depart. Have a good evening, Danny. I hope the rest of your painting goes very well and that you have a lovely holidays. Okay. Pokédex. I haven't looked at this. Does it show me how many I have? I've caught 136 out of what? Is there, oh, do I click on here? 
Uh, that'd be a faster way to do this, but I just want to know like where I'm at. It's still like a good chunk I haven't caught. It's kind of a satisfying sound. Oh, it is so nice when there's like a big chunk that are completed though. Okay, so I have, I probably have like less than half. Oh, I do have less than half, 392. Oh, I have such a ways to go, okay. Good to, oh, but there's also the version exclusives. I do forget about that. I blissfully, no, forget about version exclusives. <gasps> it's so cute. Little worm. If you could be a Pokemon, what one would you want to be? Oh. Not a worm. I read, <laughs> I read a comic that was about like someone's partner actually turning into a worm based on the whole like, would you still love me if I was a worm thing? But then they got turned back from a worm into a human and they're like, no, that was like the most peaceful experience of my life. I must go back. Humans, the human experience is suffering compared to this. <laughs> coughing. Damon, why would you want to be coughing? Fun face runes and no. <laughs> I already caught you. Just kidding. Do not want you. Let's be a little snow worm. I feel like I would want to be a bird type Pokemon. Man, that's so basic of me. When I could be that guy. A big old orb with a tooth and wings. See now happy coffin. Aw, wait, that's true. Who am I to judge? Oh my god, it's the bear with the runny nose. <laughs> oh, chub chew. Man. Give this poor man a tissue. Specific question. Do any of you use a handkerchief instead of tissues? Oh, that was the perfect amount of damage. Um, because I have considered, like, I feel like it would be very fancy of me to be the type of person that uses a handkerchief, but then I gotta wash it and keep track of it. I feel like I would lose it very quickly, or I'd, like, forget about it in my purse and it would get gross. <laughs> Handkerchiefs are for responsible people. <laughs> Your nan did that, aww. I feel like it was like such a thing to have like embroidered handkerchiefs or something. And like the part of me that enjoys embroidery is like, ooh, yes, that would be like very cool. Used for blowing your nose. Or dramatically waving, you know, when you're like on a on a on a train, leaving your lover behind for war. <laughs> Too much maintenance, yeah. I guess it would just be like you would have multiple <laughs> just like throw it in the laundry. What the heck? Because uh, uh, Demon. Well, what do you think we did before tissues? We just we just s s snot rocketed everywhere. <laughs> Dramatically waving <laughs> after following your nose. <laughs> Getting snot everywhere. <laughs> Gross. Wait, this one's a little one. Does that mean the big one's different? Oh. Oh no, it's that size too, okay. Why do they look smaller? My perception has changed. The handkerchief shall remain the top pocket to be handed to new by crying ladies. <laughs> too forgetful to bring a reusable mask in the grocery store. Oh, I've been so bad about that. Cause I mean, I feel like I got really good about it and then they banned reusable bags in a lot of places because of COVID. So I just like, forgot about it again. Lay a hanky down on a dirty bench for sin. Exactly. Yeah. Hand it to crying ladies. Blow your nose. Dramatically wave with it. You could use it as a white flag if you're like in a battle to be like, yeah, I give up. I can't count the number of times I have wanted to wave a white flag and I just don't have one. So you gotta go through with the whole battle. <laughs> <laughs> so inconvenient. Granddad used to carry hankies. Oh, I feel like my grandparents might have as well, but. What is the butt face? Oh, I get their lips. Now I see it. Val now uses them. Oh, I think they're cool. <laughs> I feel like they'd be fine. Banning reusable bags. Yeah, just in, that was like, I feel like a very start of the pandemic thing, to be fair. Back when we were like, we don't know how COVID spreads. 
nobody touch anything, kind of. And then your heart's not really in the back. I know, yeah! And you're like, Ugh, yeah, I gotta fight. I guess I'll try and win. I don't, I don't wanna lose. I don't wanna be a loser, but you know. Yeah, it's just like a messy situation every time I've been in it. Gotcha, Shnome. Hello, Nintendo. Welcome in. How you doing, pal? I'm doing good. I'm recovering from COVID, so I'm a little head empty sometimes. But you know, <laughs> we're doing okay. As I like ugh, cough. Did they start charging extra for plastic bags? That um, that was a thing. Yeah, that is a thing where I live. They only do that at Aldi's. Oh, we don't even have Aldi's. But yeah, I think that's like been a been like a state thing, or at least in like the cities around me. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Oh, honestly, do need that. Oh, I want to find where Muska is. Muska! My, that's my cat for context. <laughs> I'm not just yelling <laughs> weird random names. I feel like I refer to my cat as Muska so often, and I'm like, I don't actually know if everybody knows who they are. I'm going to stretch my legs really quick as well, so you can see my floor behind me. Oh my god, my hip just popped. Yeah, he just doesn't want to hang out right now. He was so cuddly last night, though. He slept next to me all night. He was a very nice little guy. Ooh, thank you for the stretch. Should I try? I can try and, like, beckon him out. I'll be right back. I'll try. <laughs> Okay, so I was wrong about where Muska was. Um, la this morning, I made him a fort on my bed because it was so cold, but he didn't go in it. But now, let's see, Muska. go <laughs> yeah he wasn't in the in the black chair this time <laughs> oh getting back into focus is always weird yeah he did demonstrate that very well he was like look at my foot <laughs> so i don't smoke vape but low-key and wade they officially banned them here like i wanted the option to smoke one one day just to try oh no um yeah he <laughs> That's the fort I made him this morning because it was so cold. I do have a picture in my frame currently. It is Shrock. Oh, I realized. Oh, I can kind of fit him there and he'll show up. I need to figure out a good way to like have him show up. We can have a Shrock there. I'm going to drink some water. I just realized that I'm like very thirsty. It's the famous fruit, <laughs> mini apple pie. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he's eating now. He's like, <laughs> well, now that I've woken up from my nap, I've got to... Oh, I'm in the chatting scene. That's why I can't change from it. <laughs> Ooh. You could do it if you want to. You have so many options for what you could do. I know. It's kind of sad that he... I mean, could I, like, put him on my mic stand? No, that wouldn't show up because that's on that side. What is the plushie behind me? Oh, I have a couple around me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, the dog burger. Yeah, it's a uh, pom pom purin. It's a um, squishmallow. Squishmallow. What are these called? Squishmallow of pom pom purin as a burger. He's very cute. I like. <laughs> man, I hunted for this. I ordered this from Australia because I wanted them before they were available in the U.S. Because I was like, I can't wait. I need. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hamburger, exactly. He's just a little guy hanging out. 
Very cute. Purin burger, which honestly would be kind of gross. Like, imagine a pudding burger. That sounds like a bad time. I can't believe Musco is so cute. He yeah, willingly volunteered to show you all. Have an idea. What? Give me the tea. <laughs> oh, Musco. Are you sleepy? Can I pick you up for a second? I wonder if he'll let me. I really want to. I want to hold him. No. <laughs> hey, let me hold you. Okay? And then you can go back to hiding, okay? <laughs> Don't uncook ground beef. Ooh. I'm sorry. I keep everything in light mode often. The pain of wanting to smother your cat in love and them wanting to have nothing to do with you. Yeah? Is that how you feel right now? <laughs> oh, he's purring. Brioche bun, jam jelly for sauce, brownie for patty, and ice cream for cheese. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. There he goes. I know, I finally turned my Twitch mod view on to, uh... <laughs> had it on light mode for so long on cooks to ground me i know he's a little like otter he looks so shiny and of course he has to go lick himself <laughs> he's like disgusting he could be a cat shampoo star if only he was shampooed is my audio on oh it is it's just very quiet at least Muska doesn't give you the stiff arm Josie. <laughs> oh the like <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't touch me, human. Oh, I need to go that way. Okay. I wanna fly. Ooh. Nice sparkles from that. I do like holding him right under his armpits, though, so he, like, has to stick his, like, his arms straight out. <laughs> this is very cute and goofy. Who are you? Oh, gym leader. Speaking of Jonesy, he just fell on my keyboard. Oh, it could be dinner time. That is the one thing with Muska. Is he... Oh, is he thinking about going in the chair? I think he contemplated going in the chair. He's right down there. That dark... <laughs> No, oh, no, he's... I think he's upset because I took him out of his little, like, hiding spot. Heard of the YouTube channel Up Is Not Jump? I have not. What is it? Um, I just leave food for Muska all of the time, so I think he, yeah, he doesn't have, like, specific, like, now is dinner time. Unless he doesn't have food in his bowl, and then it's like, hi, mom, it's 4 a.m. I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> Would you consider feeding me? <laughs> like, right now? <laughs> I know it's 4 a.m. and you're sleeping and all, but, like, kind of hungry. Well, we kind of do things on my schedule here. I do need to follow some more YouTube channels, though. I have been in a bit of a rut with watching like the same content over and over again or like waiting for people to post more stuff but the people i really like watching right now don't post very often i have a timer for dry food and dinner time is wet food sometime between seven to ten i wish muska liked wet food i don't know why he's the, the weird little picky guy but he doesn't like it i did learn though that he likes butter but like i don't know i don't know many cats that don't like butter <laughs> It's not like I can just feed him butter all the time anyway. Like, oh, my cat wants a treat. <laughs> Better butter him up. <laughs> Maybe that's why his coat's so shiny. Maybe that's been my secret all along. He's just a little buttery boy. Promote ordinary sausage. Oh. I want to go on an all butter diet. <laughs> Butter. Butter on popcorn. That's the way to be. Or butter on toast, man. I've been on a real just plain buttered toast kick lately. Oh. That's a mid evolution. Boop. Oh, wrong one. Damn it. Oh. Some good Irish butter. Quite delightful. He's just sneaking around now. 
Oh, wait, they can see you too. Okay. I was like, what is ordinary sausage? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, and a potato. <gasps> I have sweet potatoes. Man, if sweet potatoes didn't take so long to cook, I would have one tonight. I gotta just like cook them, cook them in advance and then microwave them. Stick of butter dipped in chocolate. Yeah, Kerrygold is quite nice. Everything is so loud outside today. So shaking my window panes. <laughs> That's like, I don't know if you can hear like weird vibration sounds, but I hate it. They couldn't move. <laughs> Time to catch. I need to buy more Pokeballs. Yeah, we can't. It is like more expensive though, but I think also it makes sense. It's more like a, you know, so fancy butter. That's like a holiday, a holiday, like Christmas time, you know, you get the fancy butter instead of the regular butter. Yeah, don't think, exactly. The, the one thing that's nice though, I will say with the weather being worse is there's a lot less people outside talking, um, <laughs> which I appreciate. Okay, Lemon, oh my God, I, thought I, was, I forgot it was 30,000, that's so many. What is the, what is the heart photo? Pokemon Barbie. Like I, okay, wait, do I create a Pokemon Barbie, a Pokemon that is a Barbie or a, a Barbie with a Pokemon? What, <laughs> should I draw this? <laughs> See, DMs <up. laughs> Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Oh no, where is it opening the original? Oh, okay. Discord being funny. Oh my God, it's saving into my working woman Barbie folder on my computer. She has 3000 elements, not really, but oh my God, I used so many photos for that video. Where is... Poor Mary, this is it. This is the stream also now. Oh my God. <laughs> you just make you. That's gonna be great. Okay, I can print that out tonight and put it in. It's bouncing around the screen like a little screensaver. Boop, 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 boop. Manny, thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. Yeah, you, that was, that's a beautiful creation. You did a fantastic job. I'm excited to have that on display in my home. <laughs> I feel like it's the perfect combination of my current interests. Yeah, I'm very happy with that video and I'm so glad so many people are having like positive responses to it because you know, I haven't, I haven't put that much research into something in a really long time. Honestly, I was thinking about it. I was like, wow, I just haven't like researched anything in a really long time so it was fun to kind of like just dive deep into something hungry thank you for gifting a sub and i'm so happy you got sent to rogue rogue i hope that you enjoy the sub oh thank you so much hungry oh my god wait that's a pack <gasps> okay wait let me let me um oh, i have another fun thing to share with this as well it's on the floor oh music is on the floor <laughs> Are you sleeping next to me? You're just laying down on the floor, you two. You can go back in your hiding spot. I promise I won't take you again. He's like, I don't trust. Okay, okay. I just heard 30 k. Oh my God, Magamma, don't be <laughs> so cruel. Like immediately, you're gonna see how messy things are. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh, but you can see, ooh, my hair. Oh, I hate that. Man, shout out to other people that just have like hair everywhere. Hairy people rise up. <laughs> it's so messy over here. I have, blah, 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 blah. which was a gift from Chloe from Snuggly, the poster that goes along with these playing cards that has every single Barbie on it. It is huge. This is this is how many Barbies. There are. So, and I have to like mark them off and they're not in any order. Terrible. Um, but yeah, so this is how I can know <laughs> that I have uh, 
them all is the poster, which I don't, need, I don't know where I'm gonna put up yet. It's so big. And no, it doesn't, that's my phone. I have my phone over here. Oh, the, the camera's slipping and falling. 30K Damon, the power you hold. <laughs> I'm all like crazy, little hair does I brush my hair after a shower, yes. <laughs> Quick lemon, ban him. Your only choice. Okay, let's go ahead. It's time. Let's crack open. Barbie trading card. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> Unexpected visitor, I suppose. Someone decided that they wanted to be involved. Yeah? Is this your stream now, too? You usually never come over when I'm streaming. Oh. <laughs> okay, we can open the pack. A whole one dollar. Ooh. Oh, the first one's kind of cute. We got a nice, like, red fancy lady. 1986. Oh. And then <laughs> a denim look. What a star from 1988. Oh, I thought she was wearing a mask. Is this like a wedding dress? I guess that's just a shadow, but it kind of like. Oh, yeah, it's just a shadow. It looks like she was wearing a mask. Oh, big hat. Nice. No, good year, good year, 1989. <gasps> Taylor Swift's year. Oh, it's Taylor Swift. That's a Taylor Swift Barbie. I can see it, honestly. <gasps> oh, this is cute. 1969. Hey, I really like this though, like the orange with the black and white. <laughs> and then we have this one. <laughs> oh, the 80s. <laughs> I guess I can't make fun of it. One day I'll look back on this year and I'll be like, mm, wow, what was I wearing? That's fun too. I like the yellow. That's so shiny. Look at her go. Oh, look at that. Older Barbie's faces are just a little unsettling. Oh my god, and the tiny waist. <laughs> like, I feel like this is the Barbie. <laughs> Specifically, people are like, oh, Barbies are like, <laughs> you know, so inhuman looking. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and then the classic, classic brown hair. Ooh, oh, nice hat. That's a cool look. Big hair, big hair energy. Those were a statement. <laughs> you weren't wearing shoulder pads is the difference. True, true. But maybe shoulder pads will be in and I'll be like, God, what am I doing? Not even wearing shoulder pads. Good pulls, good pulls. I hope we get some good facts from those ones. The facts from the other ones kind of suck. No offense, Barbie, but. <laughs> it's what I get for giving her my tie. <laughs> uh. You put them up on a wall in the same position as the poster. Oh my God, that would be so intense. There's literally so many. I could like honestly wallpaper a wall. Then I couldn't leave this apartment for another year. That would be like a, it's like a commitment to staying for at least two years. Is me wallpapering a wall with Barbie trading cards. Oh my God, that's a really good idea though. Honestly, Hungry. <laughs> 90s comic book shoulder pads were huge, yeah like the volume you know you gotta establish dominance with your shoulders wait manny's born in 1989 <laughs> taylor swift eight my whole birth year yeah uh, it's, it's kind of her year now you know you're not really allowed to have it forgotten wallpaper exists Oh my god, honestly, my sister made such a cool thing in her room growing up. She, like, collaged a wallpaper. It was very puggers. She was a very creative lady. And they kept it up for so long, my dad finally removed it, but I was so sad when he did, because I thought it looked so cool. Oh my god, is this a little, like, ice cube? <laughs> Wanna find, like, Laura's- Oh, I don't know what Laura Palmer's room looks like. I do like some wallpapers though. I saw some like vintage, like flower, not like flower print, but it was like seed packets looking. 
um, that I thought looked really cool. It was like very neon -y colors. Oh, like the painting. I see, I see. It's okay, when I meet people, I can say, hey, nice to meet you. I was born on the Taylor's, on the Taylor Swift, as you know. I'll see you in the movie in Fire Walk with me or the movie experience that is watching all of Twin Peaks. <laughs> One day I'll catch up. Oh. Sorry, I quickly check it. My Discord day. Oh, cute. <laughs> Taken from the doll accessory video. That's adorable. I need to like fix my nails. They were growing for so long and then I dramatically destroyed them all. Uh, uh. Far walk with me. Okay, yeah. I know some lore. I have heard of a man that makes movies. I actually didn't realize Taylor Swift has. Yeah, she's 33. She turned 33 on December 13th. <laughs> I actually streamed that day, so. <laughs> Every day's a learning day. Yeah. I mean, she's done a lot with her life. And she's got so much time to do so much more if she wants. Or if she doesn't want to, honestly. That would be fair. Like, if I had done as much as her, part of me would be like, I'm good. No, I'm just gonna go uh, to a beach for a while. Hang out there. <laughs> Private beach. Because I am the biggest celebrity in the world, basically. <laughs> good mountain. I know she directed, yeah, she, well, she's directed a couple of her own music videos. And then she did um, the short film, the All Too Well short film. Um, yeah, and she's supposedly working on a movie project that she, uh, right, writ, wrote, wrote her well, writ her well. Oh my god, saying words is so hard. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm quite excited to see what she'll end up making with that. Exact same age as Adele. Ooh, VIP cat for Damon. Sorry for the thing. VIP uh, oh my god, why is everybody spending all their money all of a sudden? Damon is a VIP and then Hungry. Hey, Hungry, are you already a landlord? In. No, you're not. I'll, I'm gonna make you one right now. Miuska landlord along with Duck, Anima, Damon, Steph. <laughs> Do all of the things. <laughs> Perfect. Well, now you are. Congratulations. Thank you for paying Musa's rent. I'm sure wherever he's decided to be right now, which I cannot see, he's very happy. <laughs> very I. <laughs> very I. <laughs> You're gonna make me nya? Oh, my ear is still backwards. I still haven't fixed it. Here, give me a second. Nobody look at me. I'm. I'll distract you with singing. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when we're way up here, it's crystal clear uh, that now I'm in. Did something break? A whole new world with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I have them on backwards. No, I put them on the wrong sides. I'm just a very sad cat. I was very sad. It's just a very sad nya. <laughs> ah, I need to fix them. It looks like my ears are folded in shame. Oh, woe is me. I guess I'll leave it for now. <laughs> just be a sad cat. What is art? And like the thank you. I try. <laughs> Backwards are so in. Ooh, frost lass. Yuska. What's up? What are you crying for? You're just sitting at the front door crying. You can hang out with me when I stream. He just doesn't like me talking, that's the thing. I prefer mother in silence and paying attention to me and doing whatever I want. Is it because I nyad? He was very concerned about the nyad. Oh, there we go again. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is he gonna kill? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I 
Do you want the ears? No, he's leaving. He's upset with me. He's like, mother, dare you mock my culture? <laughs> Generations of cat have mewed in this apartment. Now he's just gonna stare at the humidifier. He does seem very confused by the humidifier. Also, I got a bigger humidifier, thank God. I think it's helped a lot. My apartment is still very dry all the time, but it's also very warm. It's 75 degrees in here right now. Like it's snowing outside and my apartment's just like, oh, let me be toasty. Uh, let's just, I don't know if Rock Tomb's gonna look on you and you might kill me. No, I'm afraid of that. But now I'm confused. Oh, but it killed me. That's not what I meant to do. That's okay. Sometimes you kill who you were planning to catch, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, I should heal Haunter. I just- oh man, I- I feel like this game makes me feel so much less stressed than the Pokemon games did when I was a kid. I forget a Doom Hitter. <laughs> I, <d> <laughs> I do have a dehumidifier because I thought my apartment was going to be really humid because it's a basement. Um, but it's not. It's very dry. So I now have both. So I could make them fight it out. I could see who who wins. Do I, <laughs> do I get humidity? Do I <laughs> just have the driest home? Is my nose gonna bleed because the air is so dry? That sounds like such a dweeby thing, like, oh no, the air is so dry that my nose is bleeding. Uh, it's my nerd moment. <laughs> Should let them battle it out. I just feel like a cycle of water. I just take the water out of the dehumidifier and put it back in the humidifier. <laughs> I do wonder which one like works faster than the other. I think the humidifier I have is bigger, so. No, it is a thing, yeah. But it, it feels like a dweeby thing to complain about. Oh no. I'm a nerd in our kids cafe. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just wanna do the, <laughs> the water cycle in my home. I wanna make it rain, actually. I'm gonna make it really humid in here. I'm gonna start growing some mushrooms. <laughs> I never get nosebleeds, but did the other year and it was too dry. No, I used to get them sometimes when I got really stressed. So I remember the day that AP scores came out my senior year. I got a really bad nosebleed. <laughs> oh, wait, that was so rude. Can I just catch you? My dweeb representation moment. Hi, everybody. See, I got my sweater and my glasses on. Nobody's pointed out that I look like a librarian today. Thank you all. I guess I already kind of pointed it out somewhere somewhere I referenced that um but yeah I was like when I was getting ready today I was like going for a librarian vibe because I'm actually wearing my glasses on stream which I've been really comfortable I'm really glad I have I've actually oh fuck I didn't mean to kill you Ugh. it's fine um I've been trying to wear my glasses more often because I need them weirdly enough and everything I, I can see better when I have them on so uh shout out to Glasses. My brand would be such a fun job. It would be in a really big, well, I think any size library, like even just a smaller like community library where you like get to know your community really well, that would be nice. Kindergarten teacher would be fun, except I never want to work with kindergartners. I would not, I would not enjoy it. I think I would find them very stressful. You look like a librarian, by the way. Thank you, Damon. Uh, that's what I was going for today. I used to get mad headaches and nosebleeds. Oh no, from just it being too dry. Okay, rock tomb. Let's see if let's see if I can get them just low with the rock tomb. I need to drink more water. It's too strong. Oh, that so tasted very chlorine-y. I don't like that. I don't know if I should clean up my water bottle or if. Because I haven't been filling my water bottle with my uh, water filter, but maybe I should be. Let's just go up this hill. Let's just see where it takes us. How long have I been streaming? Almost four hours! Holy shit! I really thought I would have a small stream today, too, because I'm like, man, like, I've been sick. So I like, it's okay if I end stream early. You guys made this so fun. 
Wow. Wow. Just from being alive. I just wake up with the stuffed nose and bread everywhere. Oh no! The big bear. Oh god, his, his snot froze. That would be so painful. Okay, wait. I'm gonna come back to this area and catch everyone. I just kinda wanna I just kinda wanna ride, you know? I just wanna get on my bike and ride. Into the sunset. Look at these nice spikes. Uh someone was playing. Skyrim recently that I saw on Discord and I was just like very jealous for a bit. I was like, man, I wish I was playing the Skyrim right now. <laughs> Which like unpopular opinion. I know lots of people don't like Skyrim, but like sometimes it just it just hits. I just wanna be out in the in the woods, you know? Shooting a thing with an arrow. I think I should play more of the long dark. I haven't played that in a really long time, but we were talking about it in Snuggly's stream yesterday, and it's very fun! I like the long dark. I, I like Skyrim. I just like exploring around. Seeing the world. I guess I should maybe try and do this gem, but I might honestly try and wait. Ooh, snowscape. Sometimes you get in that Skyrim mood. Yeah! Oh, mod it! I See? If I felt more confident about mods, I would. I did buy Skyrim for PC, like, last year, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna get into this. But there's something about playing with a controller that I like more. But now I have a controller, I can play with it, so maybe I should. I did never play Oblivion. I did play, um, the one before it, with an M. My brain is literally saying monorail. That's not what it's called. What is it called? Monorail. Elder Scrolls 2. Morrowind. <laughs> Monorail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fun as advertised. People just angry people. That's very true. Yeah, I feel like I could. I don't know. Just when it's snowing as well. Like, feels like the season for some uh, snowy gameplay. Everybody's waddling around. Okay, can I go up higher from here? I want to just, like. <laughs> I want to keep going. Or is this the highest point? Are we at the top of the mountain? And then this is down again. Oh, I see. But now I can fly here, right? Because I've been here. That's how that works. Oh, am I going to cough again? <laughs> oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh, man, I've been following my vibes, not, <laughs> not my common sense. Okay, so I can fly there now. So I can just, like, jump off the side of this mountain if I want. Perfect, so we can come back here. We can come back. There's an X-Mix mod for Skyrim that's dope. Oh yeah, I think we might have a video on it? Or is that just the Skyrim dating one? The Skyrim Bachelor, which is very funny conceptually. I did marry the first person in the game that I could marry. The lady from the first town. I was like, yep, easiest, easiest wife to get. You're my wife. I'm a simple lady. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't want a complicated relationship. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Let's just uh, let's go this way. Wait, that's a good spike, right there. Do you think that spike has significance? Man, do you remember in Sword and Shield where you'd like find something and then it would turn into this like giant chunk of dialogue about why it was a thing? I'm glad we don't have that in this game. I don't want lore. How dare you give me lore? <laughs> this game's trying to immerse me. Stop it! <laughs> I want out! I want to figure things out on my own! Oh, oh god, don't attack me. Just want to look at the spike. <gasps> it's got a sign, lore! Oh, one of the ten sites. Oh, nice. See, I knew. I looked at that thing and I was like, that's a thing. Felt it in my soul. Where am I going? This way. Ooh, okay. What's up? Why are you crying? Miska, you like know where I am. Why are you crying? Is it the humidifier? Do you not like it? <laughs> two solid seconds of jaunty accordion pirate music there. Only two. Yeah. 
Have I been streaming for too long? Is that what you think? Yeah? Oh, what's wrong, baby cat? He's just having a day. Yeah, tell me more. What's wrong? <laughs> Can you all hear it meow? I don't know if it filters out. Yeah, does it filter? Do you want to say something? Get your words out there. It's hard. It's hard being the smallest little guy in the whole world. And you just never get enough respect. Oh, baby. He's let me clip half of his nails, but not the other half, so I need to do that sometime. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe this should be it for now. Oh, loud and clear. Beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad. I want everyone to hear the little guy because, you know, it's hard <laughs> being so small. That might be... That might be my sign that I should go spend some time with my son. Thank you all so much for being here today. This has been just like such a fun stream. I'm having a very wonderful time slowly, slowly playing through Pokemon. Um, yeah, he's decided, you know, he, he runs the clocks here. Cats will often remind me when I've been in front of screens for too long. Oh, is that what you're doing? Is your eye, yeah, your eye's okay. Saw my reflection in his eye and I was like, that looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much for being here. This has been so delightful. Um, thank you so much to the wonderful friends that raided in today. And if anybody joined is joining in from those, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I do want to like highlight again, I did just put out a YouTube video that I'm very proud of. If you like deep dives into random things, you may enjoy it. So be sure to check that out. And man, let's try and let's raid into someone. What's everybody playing? What's everybody doing? Oh, Opst is streaming. Oh, they like just got on. Let's rate Opst. Okay, because if you like cozy chill vibes, you're gonna like Opst. They have just like a soothing voice. Oh God. <laughs> um, they play Animal Crossing. They're just great. So we'll raid them. Uh, Kid to raids. I do these, the raid things. Is this it? Yes. If you want to copy and paste those, that's kind of just a way of, you know, saying hi when we hop in. Um, oh, thank you, Chris. Yeah. All right. I will see you all on Thursday if you decide to stop by again. Oh, and of course, make sure to check out my, um, my socials if you want to follow me anywhere else or join the Discord. Okay. Thank you all again so much for being here. Let's go do the raid. Uh, and I will see you all on Thursday. Okay. Ah! <laughs>